time is the enemy, the past and threatens the fastest weapon. You wouldn't make it past a second, and that's the question. Play it brash and reckless, or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent. In any sepulchre, poker to do become the putrid. It's that wealth that I'm pursuing. No mountain too steep or dungeon too deep to send expendable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath. They see you bleed, they come like sharks to it. While I swim in that money bin like Carl Barks drew it. So send your national parks through it. I'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top and most of the parts included. <sighs> Save your breath for a cleric confessor. Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and initial it twice. Milkman. Hello, I am Tycho Brahe of Penny Arcade and PAX. I am also a manifest heroin drawn CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But today, I'm Jerry Holkins, and I'm running a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends. To my right, Dragonborn Narcissist, Dinar Blitzen. Hi. Oh, it's him. Yeah, Hi. same guy, same TV's, guy. TV's Dinar. To the right of my right, repping the natural world, Walnut on grass. Walnut on grass. Oh. Crazy birds getting wild. A lot of that skin. That skin sound is what I like. <laughs> to my left, uh, not your grandma's grandma, except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma, Rosie B. Stinger. Ready? Yeah. Oh, they'll do it. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hey. Arrow snake. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, no, no, it's, it's like in three acts. Yes, it's right. like there's three distinct <laughs> acts to the left of my left emerging as though from a mist shroud. Like, who's this now? Kithris Drow. Oh. Kithris Drow. Yay. Oh. For me. Yay. So we have, we have been gallivanting for a certain percentage of time. We yeah. had our first live game uh, at the TwitchCon. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a super good time. Uh, that's available on the YouTube now for Penny Arcade if you want to see it. Uh, it takes place, I guess, in continuity. At any rate, it's like not out of continuity. If you want more, uh, if you want more of the Doomgate in, what I'm trying to say is our Halloween special is available for you. Um, it's got a couple cool twists. Uh, that I think you'll enjoy, but it's also available for the new reader, viewer, whatever a person who consumes this medium is called. Uh, uh, beyond that, uh, this is the <coughs> penultimate, which is to say the second to last uh, episode of this season of The C Team. Um, of course, we'll have our Christmas special uh, at PAX Unplugged. Obviously, uh, hold tight for that. That'll be our first live game where we're in full costume. So that should be a treat. Thanks very much to, <laughs> <Oil and> everything. <laughs> to, Danny, Hartel. to Danny Hartel. It's going to be pretty flavorful. Um, but but we're not getting, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's entirely possible the entire team could be killed. Yeah. God, I hope so. We can all just be our yeah. Doomgate characters <laughs> <laughs> before, oh, before the next game. Now that's a spoiler. I thought yeah. you meant us. No. No, no, no. no, no. Table, table yeah, it's possible you could all die. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Now, um, when last we saw our heroes, uh, which is to say uh, Acquisitions Incorporated's Team C, uh, holders of an exclusive license to operate in the Deserin Valley, um, headquartered in Red Larch, uh, indeed they had returned home uh, from the notoriously xenophobic uh, Dragonborn Enclave of Scala, uh, their friend uh, having been chomped, one might say, uh, by a shadowy uh, envoy of Tiamat. A lot of stuff happened up there. After they came home, uh, the team recognized uh, that it was the time of year that the children had made a map of. The ghost children that uh, had a kind of fort years and years ago inside the carriage house. Uh, they looked into the mine. They thought they might be able to find some evidence of its passage there. Um, what they found was some graffiti uh, from naughty local kids. It wasn't quite on the tier of the wandering crypt. Um, but it's, it's okay because they went elsewhere uh, outside of town to the north and west 
and there uh, placed the Nemesir into the ground, a siege weapon of ancient eldritch um, enclave manufacture. Uh, an ancient weapon designed to bring terror and dismay to their enemies, the drow. Uh, they placed it, uh, a tree grew uh, up and then also deep, deep down into the earth, pinning the wandering crypt. Um, immediately after that, there were two bursts of, of earth, uh, just like they had seen very, very early in the campaign. Um, and they had an opportunity to explore one of them where they found a kind of stone diorama uh, of a, uh, a ritual of binding that they uh, explored for some time. They also found a black gate inside this region uh, that required not the three symbols uh, they were previously familiar with to gain access, um, but five. That is, as I recall, where we left our adventure. Um, we can play Dungeons and Dragons whenever you'd like. Staring at my amulet. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> now, you seized an amulet uh, of Malith, as I recall. Yes. Um, and you could tell, because because we were, we were crunched for time then, but we're not so crunched for time now. We have all the time we want to. Well, we have two episodes, time I guess. Time is the enemy. Yeah, time is the enemy. Now, but you could see, you could see that this Malith mm -hmm. um, symbol, this amulet, mm -hmm clearly has a place to lock another amulet into it. You can see from the bottom it has a kind of uh, mechanism. So it's a it's a two-part it's like the it's like the, it's like the it's like the mystical magical version of the best friend's necklace. Oh my god. So she's of she's ancient manufacture. Like, looking around. Clearly there's like not the other one there but she's like looking for a Carter's <laughs> <laughs> Where's my DPS? <laughs> um, so Rosie, yes. Rosie is examining these statues, and and she touches one, um, just sort of to to prove to herself that it's made of stone. And then she looks over at Walnut, and she asks, "Are these your grove?" It would seem so. Do I know that? Well, yeah. You don't. You you recognize it inherently. Okay. As being. Um, you know that you are in a, a holy place that has somehow been contained inside this, but they don't look like, uh, as, as I tried to suggest before, but it's possible I, I didn't have time to. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't keep saying this to make you feel bad. I'm, but you I just, should. I just want to. should. You said they're more, they're, um, it's, if that's an ancillary effect, so be it. <laughs> that they're more beautiful and that they're taller. They're, yeah, absolutely. They are, about them they better. are taller and more, uh, more live. They're sexier than walnut. Uh, well, no, it not hard. It, 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 it isn't like that. Is that walnut? You're, you're, you know, Short. taller than other. <laughs> but like elves are always going to be on the higher end. These features are just are simply more elven. Imagine that there's like a DLC option you can get at time of purchase uh -huh. that just like elevates everything. Horse armor. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, more yeah. elfishness. Exactly. Elf. Sharp, like sharper yeah. ears, Image. finer I'm features. I'm touching it, I was like, this has got the 4K mods. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it has subsurface scattering. Ooh, the so NVIDIA uh, true elf uh, <laughs> yeah. shaders. Catch the drivers for these, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. it's got the upgrade. But basically what we're talking about is, I mean, you, you, recogni you recognize that this this is your that this is your heritage, um, basically seen in a way that no one has been privy to for thousands of years. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, really loving this amulet, but then also maybe some reverence <laughs> yeah. for what's going on. Well, right. yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, but but also this. I mean, this is information that people of the EPA had lost mm. because oh, wow. Malith was the betrayer right. because she ceased to answer prayers. Of course, we would come to learn that it wasn't her, not her fault. Not her fault. But this is... Malice is framed. What you are seeing here is a unified EPA mm, where oh. the rituals clearly, as I suggested before, the amulet you were able to seize, mm -hmm. was, the only reason it was not annihilated was because the uh, priestess 
who in this ritual had taken on the role of Maleth, mm. much as Cathris had, mm. was actively uh, protecting uh, the priestess who was taking the role of Maliki. Does the uh, is that symbol on this amulet? Does it match what we know of Maleth? It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the symbol is correct. Okay. It's the the opposite. The EPA has very sharp angles in its. Um, and it's the way that its iconography is constructed, mm -hmm. and this is simply the this is simply the reflection of that. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just trying to figure out if we have seen enough uh, of these icons. If we've seen five before, even if we don't possess, you've never them. seen fully five. Yeah, I you know, don't think I know of three uh, at least. We have, they all had different ones than we had. Right. But we didn't like have a recognition of them. Yeah. We couldn't evaluate it. We have a symbol of Meliki. We have a symbol of Maleth. We have. We don't um, have a symbol of Maleth. Yeah, we don't have Meliki. Oh no, he said, he said that, but it, he meant Maleth. Okay, so we have a. You have an amulet of Maleth, Maleth, and we don't have a symbol of Meliki. Do you know one? Like I only know what the like the grove separated from Maleth symbol is. Right. 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 And so this is essentially this is an artifact. Hmm. There may be another like it somewhere else. Somewhere. Okay. Well, this is great. But it would, it, would be a, it would be a life's quest mm -hmm. to try to find its mate. So, she's going to put that on and tuck it away. Okay. Does anything... Wait, oh Just my god. Just inside the I, armor? Yeah, does anything happen when she puts it on? No. We're good? No. Okay, great. No. Sorry. It's strange. Like, yeah. <laughs> constricting. Anyway. We already have that. We have that <laughs> necklace. All the, all, the, all the constriction happens over there. I have a... That's fine. We'll Just bang. hold it right there. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'll look at you and be like, oh, you know, convey some of what this is to me. Um, what I say, this is, uh, this is a, <laughs> this is a feature creep. This is a mystery <laughs> that uh, we're not here for this today, but, uh, but I'll need to come back someday. You don't Season think, two. You don't think this is related to the crypt? Well, I mean, maybe, but whatever they were doing didn't work. Kathris very specifically says, he says, Meliki, do you think it's possible that, that <laughs> the, the other part, if there's more to this amulet, that it would be deeper in the crypt? This is, this is Walnut you're talking to. That's, I said Walnut. Mm. I did, we've been working together for a while. Rose is eyeing you. And Walnut, <laughs> Walnut looks at him and she goes, mm. Well, if it's not here, maybe it is. Maybe there's more deeper down. I don't know anything about this ritual. It could be that they were binding it from deeper inside. Hmm. Hmm. And it hmm. looks like the um, priestess has tried to escape, right? Like there's mm -hmm. some figures of them trying yeah, to yeah, get out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But even those who are out, you know, it's on their knees or like half stumbling, their entire body is petrified. So even if they're held in this mid stumble. Okay. Um, for however long this room has been here. What does it look like they're running away from? What, whatever it was is where this gate is positioned. Okay. Mm. So they're fleeing the gate. Um, and, and as I suggested before, um, they are around a symbol that they have carved into the ground that oh. has become petrified as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What was that is this like? a new symbol? <clears throat> no, no. It isn't anything, it isn't anything special. It's, it, it's perfectly legible. Uh, is it a, a druid? Spell? Yeah, it's a it's a druid spell of binding. Oh, binding. Okay, great. oh you know what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna make a note that I write that down. Yeah, um, you have a ledger. I do, and I want to put it in my ledger. Boy, this is the do, this yeah. is this is the first this is like the first documenter. Yeah. <laughs> Just um, on this floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she's doing an etching. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Come here. Come like here. Come here. Solve this. There's that. Anyway, so I'm going to do an etching of this binding spell. Situation. Okay. Um, Let's try that. Okay. Let's see if that works. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. I'm looking at the gate. Let's see if that's any better. Yeah. Yeah, what, what? are you what are you feeling right now? Well, you, you, I keep glancing at it. You can yeah. tell that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. But, you, but I'm not giving away like, okay. like there's no, there's no right. like lust. And, and I find that curious too, because yeah. there's no reason there shouldn't be less. Right. Right? But so. it's that because. You can't win here. <laughs> right. Either you're a creep and we don't trust you, or you're not a creep and we don't trust, trust you. Trust. Why isn't he being a creep? Yeah, why isn't he being a creep? 
<laughs> That's worse than being a creep. Yeah. I, I snap out of it. Go, oh, the gay guys. Well, nom, nom, nom. Gotta get in there. <laughs> Hold me back. Uh, no, no. You, you can you can see its sort of featureless mouth in the center of it, and you know what it wants. Mm-hmm. Like it wants symbols. Right. It wants to be communed with. It wants proof that the person before it has the wherewithal to enter. Right. And theoretically these priestesses did open it, right? Because something came out of it? Maybe. Maybe. They so must have, they, yeah, I mean something about it upset them. Does that mean that the symbols would be here somewhere? It might be that they just didn't realize that that gate was there, and then they saw it, and they were like, ah! And they it's turned ran so away. Scared through its hate <laughs> so gate. So scared. Yeah. So hate scared. Gates. It turned us down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wonder if there's a way to restore them. Do they? Uh, Let's shatter them all. Let's not shatter them. Let's not shatter them. Maybe they've got the symbol inside them, like a pinata. Somebody ate it. It's in the Our pinata. Our pinata is impressive in the <laughs> drinks. Depends on how big. Can I get a rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the candy comes in. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I have a pinata table in here. All right. Nice. Full of apples. I swing at this ah. most childlike looking statue. <laughs> <laughs> Was there? The one easy breaking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna role play now. Yeah. I was. <laughs> oh, I thought that's Denar in a nutshell. Um, can any of you try to talk to these statues? Presumably they were alive. Maybe there's still some consciousness Whoa. in there. I'll try. Yeah. Yo, statue. Yeah, I read. What up? Yelling. Yo. Well, okay, I'll ask you, like, is there, of what you know, is there a, a any kind of a greeting that they might respond to the most strongly? So that if there is a whisper, I want to get at the str- the most potent thing that they might respond to. Trees um, rule. Yeah, if all we have is one chance, yeah, or one opportunity. So, yeah, yeah, Mom's one shot. Dead. Um, I, uh, I don't know of any greetings. I could also use my spell box. Um, that would also be good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's any greeting that we would know. Okay, Alyssa. Hello. Will you get the spell box for Amy? <laughs> I say, I, I reach out and I say, hello, petrified friends. Oh, no. Hello, am petrified. Am I getting anything back? Am I getting, is he getting anything? Anything? I don't, I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's sort of a broad <laughs> band. Because I don't have any, like, there's no minds here that I can tell okay. exist. So okay. I'm just, it's just sort of a... You're just, opening, you're just, you're just, you're just opening, talking the stone. <clears throat> you're just opening the port. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting I'm getting a lot of chatter. Sorry. Stay off this channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Can you... Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, you detected magic before we got in here, right? Yeah, I have divine sense. Yeah. Divine sense. Um, do you sense anything coming from these folks? Is that wow. still going? Or? If I open myself up to this... <laughs> It's gonna be crazy again. I feel like it. it. Yeah, it might just blind you again. Okay. Just double me over. I mean, we can all laugh at me on the ground. <laughs> I didn't. I laugh did like the that. First time. You didn't. I got a little bit nervous, but do it again. All right. Uh, all right. I can try. I'll divine sense the uh, the statues. Maybe I can try to like focus it so I'm not just like getting gut punched by the gate. Yeah. Uh, what's the uh, what is the, uh, the uh, Hmm. Let me find the specific verbiage on divine sense. Indeed, because I've only used it a million times. I was gonna say, what does it tell you? Like, if you were gonna center it, sixty on the... feet. I wasn't. <clears throat> I can just know location of any celestial fiend or undead. I know the type, mm. <clears throat> uh, but not the identity. So I wouldn't know like a specific. Yeah. Baron von vampire. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Giant fangs. I can use it. One plus my charisma modifier, so I can use it a lot. I'm charismatic as shit. Absolutely. So I I can try each one of these statues. I would like you to roll a d20, and I would like you to add your constitution modifier. Uh Uh-oh. Rut row. 15. Okay. So, much like um, the experience you had previously, Uh, no, it's okay. Oh, um, much like the experience that you had previously, where you were basically driven into the ground um, by uh, just an awareness of malevolence, um, you have much the same thing. You still have to uh, you have to steel yourself 
against one of these statues that still, even after thousands of years, is still able to provide support. But this is the polar opposite of what you felt in the, in the fountain room mm -hmm. when you first entered into the wandering crypt. This is the absolute opposite. So not <coughs> gut punching pain, but no, knee just, buckling just pleasure. Just purity. <laughs> yeah. God. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, like, <laughs> it's absolute, um, <laughs> it's not bad. And I just keep using it. And now I can use it. Divine sense now. again and again, I can do it. <laughs> I, just, I can do it five times and I do it five times. Wow. It's quite a refractory period. Yeah. I'm just like, wait guys, I think there's still something in here. Okay, so you love it? Is that is that actually what's happening? Uh, I guess. Yeah, you be the like, judge. <laughs> he looks like he loves it. He looks okay. like he loves it. <laughs> he, he, he's a fan. What's wrong with him? What's going on? Is he dying? Uh, oh my god, are you okay? I try and use healing word on him, so I don't know what's happening. He has a disease of some kind. And I'm back! <laughs> you make the sound of the uh, of a turtle when they're having sex, you know? <laughs> so anyway, we're in this holy place. We both know what that yeah. sound is. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. Can we role play? Yeah. yeah, we yeah. Can. We can. We can. That's play. I don't make those songs so sounds normally, Amy. This is role playing. <laughs> Rosie is. I I kneel down next to this this symbol on the ground, this, this yeah. spell of binding, and I've like brushed off some of this dust from it. I don't know what it is, um, but it's, it seems to be what the focus of this is. So I'm kind of meditating on it um, while Dinar jizz is in the corner, I guess. Five times. So, so it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Right. <clears throat> so you can see, uh, it's a very simple. Rendering a very simple drawing, yeah. But it looks as though it is a um, like a sharp crystalline shape mm. that has been uh, that they show very clearly as being buried in the ground at an angle. Okay. And then the rest of their circle and runes of binding exist around this crude drawing that they've made in the center. What does the crude drawing look yeah. like exactly? <clears throat> it looks as though it's all sharp angles up here, okay. but it, it's all sharp angles that have been driven down into uh, the curve of a hill. Okay. Mm. It's like a pincushion kind of thing? Like, yeah. Hill? Yeah, like a needle pincushion. Okay. Is it symmetrical? Just curious. No. No. Mm. Uh, okay. And where is this in relation to the rest of the room? It's right in the center. Oh, okay. You can see the priestesses around it. Mm. Does it look like they're... They were driven in or popping out? Can we tell? What in the, the in the, the symbol? The, yeah, the the stuff <clears throat> in the hill, the the points. It, it looks it looks it's not clear from the image. Okay. It's just it's clear what they were <clears throat> interacting with, what information that they had has been ensconced in this drawing. I know. Oh, hmm. Do I know this or do you know this? Hmm. That the druids we used to pin the that they pin the shard line. Have they tried to pin the shard line? Yeah. That's you know, you know, you, yeah. that. That's, yeah. That is uh, that is an alternative history proffered by the contact with right. drawing oh, you're right, devices. You're right, you're now, right. Yeah. Now I don't think I don't know if I sh I don't think I shared that detail. No. You I, there, there was I would say there's many things from that meeting you have not shared. Yeah. I I know I shared that I had it. I did share that I had it with you. Mm -hmm. Um. So I will go in confidence to you yeah. and say that. Uh, which one am I, my friend? I'll share, I'll share that piece of it. Like I was told that mm. this was a part of what this or this ritual was that they were trying to um, that they referred to it as a shard link. That's right. Something yeah. else. Right. They don't call Another it the wandering crypt. Right. Mm. They think that that is unnecessary poetry. Yeah. And they grew a, it grew a body for itself after they imprisoned it. Is what's in my notes. Mm -hmm. Right? Press into this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, so, the question that that I had written down this is out of character, obviously, um, is that did we free it, and who destroyed the druids? Aha. Uh -huh. These do, are great questions. Do I have? Do I have? Have I have I had a scribble in my ledger, or anything? Uh, you have had the, you've had the only scribble you have in your ledger mm -hmm. is the piece of information that the secretarian offered you. Uh, called um, the, the Wandering Crypt. Yeah, the Ecology of the, the Wandering, Wandering Crypt, Crypt Diet. Gotcha. 
Yeah, so you haven't shared anything that the Secretarian has written to you. Yeah, so I was thinking now Walnut would probably pull out her ledger and be like, um... Mm -hmm. Backstory. Uh, <laughs> just say that. Uh, so I do have some extra information that now I'm hearing that maybe there's other interpretations of what's going on. Um, and uh, I think the part that she would want to want to share is that emphasize. Um, yeah, is that yeah. Um, reports of a mouth, as we would generally think of it, as a conduit for nourishment, are largely apocryphal. I don't know that word. Apocryphal. Apocryphal. Walnut doesn't know that word. Yeah. Uh, though there are local <laughs> tales acorn. which may relate to the wandering crypt rising maw wide, no effort is made by the creature to secure nourishment as we understand it. How then is such a massive cre creature maintained? One key may be in the songs of the Desert Valley. And then it says, The Sombrish, a traveling folk who dwell in the Sumbar Hills, have a walking hymn they call... How do you want to pronounce that? Deleteriat. Deleteriat. <laughs> so oh, not yeah. delete riot. No. Oh, the, that's that's my band. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my band. <laughs> One that describes a punishment reserved for the unspeakable, and this is the part that I think is important. When the hills dance, ha, bring the ones in chains. Those behind the wagon, ha, take them to the summer cave where we trade devils for angels. And then it talks about translation, and the secretary is clearly um, wanted to pass a lot of information on. But um, the, the part that I think is. Uh, that concerns me is that um, it talks about trading people for other versions, right? Like bad for good, um, and then also let's talk about nourishment. Um, and it just seems that there's just a lot. There's just a general theme about eating <laughs> mouths mm. um, that Don't is concerning. <laughs> How much do we know about it? <coughs> Have you ever talked to us about your whole God situation? I think so. I've given enough about like, so following these where we're trying to all synthesize what, who knows what at yeah. this point. But like after we returned mm. from that situation. Beyond the gate. I would have shared that, um, I think I would have shared that info. Okay, that we went you, in. Regarding that we went in. Exactly. We saw uh, Maleth trapped, mm -hmm. saw my... God trapped in some form, mm -hmm. right? And the very first time, and you, yeah, I mean, you saw the form of it. Yeah, and we right. were we were adjacent to the very first conversation. Well, it's not and then, indeed, and then the sort of you. the undulating yeah. sharpness that existed in the cracks between uh -huh. uh, when you were in the the, uh, the test market. Yeah, right? yeah, and I think that I don't think it's a secret that I'm not a big fan of the of meat and mouths. That's not my god. Somehow, I made an agreement with Hashtag it. Hashtag not my god. Yeah, not exactly. My god. Not my god. I didn't pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play at me. Uh, I can see this bumper sticker on the cart. Yeah, he. So uh, yeah, that that it's holding the Ur hostage for some reason, or is able to, which I think is because the Ur wants to be held hostage because he's the all powerful one. Why would he be able to be taken hostage? That's right. So Kathers is saying all this. No, exactly. <laughs> that's the best yeah, part. I'm just is that it out. Like yeah. that's right. I told you that, and <laughs> he wouldn't get trapped because he was too weak. Unless weakness and strength are on an axis that we don't understand. There may be some other meaning. Anyway, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> I think no matter what, we're going to have to go deeper into this this crypt. But right. I think we should be very, very wary um, because we know from Omen that the stronger you get, the Worse it gets. That's right. And we are much stronger than when we first stepped down here. That's true. Um, but if we don't know these five symbols, then how can we proceed further into the crypt? Yeah. Is there another? Was there another entrance? I thought we were. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. There's. Don't. That's yeah. the gates. Just it's uh, what it always it's just is. A but gate. there are other. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming. There's more gates. One other. We've seen another. A door. Oh, so we need to go find a different mouth. I think. Mm. Cross. Well, I guess. A different cross. So. I'm thinking about the deleteriate poem, the walkers in chains behind the cart, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. trading devils for angels. So like mm -hmm. prisoners or undesirables. Yeah. Do you remember what we learned about the last Stones Day ritual? Mm -hmm. About feeding the quarry? Yeah. Yeah, for the cake. Yeah. Did It was just miners who got trapped in there, right? Is that the story? 
Mm. It was angel food cake. Anybody who, food, yeah. Angel food cake. Well, I was thinking if they were prisoners, <laughs> trading devils for angels means like sacrificing prisoners to this mm. monster in the quarry. No. I love uh, Kate Welch. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not Rosie B. Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. So I just love how, how my brain is getting this so incredibly wrong. Or I uh, am delighted by the entire process. Okay. Okay. That means I'm wrong. But. No. I'm having fun being wrong. So that's, that's my theory is that they were prisoners, they sacrificed them for something, and that's what the, the songs are about. And if we can find out where they would sacrifice those prisoners, then we might find a mouth that we can use. Hmm. <laughs> mm. So back to the quarry? <laughs> right, that's, but we were just <coughs> there, yeah. and there was nothing to be found, so yeah. maybe that's not the right place. Hmm. We have something that we have to do here, though, whether it's, you know, for, I mean, Omen bade us to come down here right. and to figure yeah. it out. Like, we still need to do that. This particular gate. I mean, we can all take sure. a boat. It's all part of the same organism. Like, Long that's that's very time. useful, but it's not summer. So we could yeah, I, got, I don't see another place to go. I'm with I'm with Walnut. I, whatever take you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the decision I is call, what's up a boat. <laughs> I call a boat. <laughs> yes? Yes? What's the boat? Tell us what the boat is. Uh, whether we're going to keep going down here or leave. Okay. Yeah, I want to go in there. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to the quarry. There's no other option, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> easy. No. Describe the room. Like, yeah, exactly. the way we came Here, in. There's, there's this room, exactly right, and there's this black gate. But you will recall that as the Nemesir drove down, there were not one but two bursts of soil. Mm -hmm. right. yes. Oh yeah, we went left. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the only reason I decision just left. <laughs> no. The only, you know, the only reason it's goofed is just because the last part of the... <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. No, no, it isn't even about that. It's I'm that, sorry. No, no, no. I just wanted to make sure that you got your plane. Okay. okay. Which it sounds like was a near thing anyway. It, it was near and I did make it on the plane. So we should try and maybe go to the other room? Yeah. Okay. So we climb back out yes. and then go to the other hole? Okay. Yes. And okay. Dinar, are you That's excited that we're out hole. and now we're just going back in again? <laughs> Can I take a short rest? <laughs> yeah. No. What it's kind of statues are they going to have in here, I wonder? <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> Let me try a divine. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> now, so uh, as you pass through, uh, you walk by uh, your new daughter. My daughter. Uh, uh, substantial red larch beyond, I mean, beyond the, the genus. This is a, an exemplar of this form. Um, and you can see it around in this field sort of twinkling uh, in the moonlight. Mm -hmm. You can see little shoots even now, only having been planted an hour or so ago. You can see little shoots out as far as you can see here uh, starting to sort of plow their way through the frosty soil. Um, I pause for a minute and look at it. Yeah, <laughs> listen to it. Um, but as, you, as you, you sort of cross that by section, um, you can see that there is another entrance down. Let's go. Kick down that door. <clears throat> like, I'm here for that other ambulance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where it at? No, so uh, as, you, uh, as you make your way down this other staircase, the staircase itself is very similar to the last one, but the room here is the self-same room, as near as you can tell, mm -hmm. uh, that you went into at the very beginning. Also, our mm. first, our first, first encounter? Yeah. yeah. This is the acid room. Bad room. This has got the fountain in the and middle. Indeed. I have a drawing of it right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> oh there is there boy. is a there is indeed a fountain um, in the middle. And you can recall leaving this room as quickly as you could. Yes. Um, as acid began to sort of overmatch the pool. Yeah. And then it began the, the stairs and so forth began to salivate. Uh, making escape difficult. Is As I recall, Dinar had to basically pound his way out of the... Again. Yeah. yeah. It's a theme. Yeah. Um, is the gate still here? The gate is still here. How many symbols? It requires three symbols. Okay, same old gate. So. This is the gate This is the gate that you recall, although mm -hmm. this gate is very similar to the one that you saw uh, below the lighthouse. Right. Uh -oh. Same same symbol then. Now that I've uh, well, seen more, it, 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 pe it appears to be the, of the same manufacture. Okay. But uh, but as I, as I said, you know, before you had a single symbol mm -hmm. that you could incorporate um, into 
it, it's sort of complex diagram. Oh, that's right. Okay, so what I would like to do... Now you have many symbols. Yeah, what I would like to do is... Uh, I, I told Rosie, put your, uh, put your hand on that uh, necklace. I've never let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and I want to... Is there acid in the... Um... No, this, this room is, much as you saw it initially... It, it okay. appears to revert to uh, an attractive state. And remind me what was the uh, what was the action that that led to the acid release? Uh, you uh, an attempt to enter the black gate without the requisite symbols. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what. It so we have three now. Yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, refresh ourselves of that. I have three now. Should I attempt, or should we maybe take a look at the other? <laughs> Very rational. <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> you around these gates? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got best. horrible memories of this when we almost all died. So do I. So I'm lingering by the entrance slash exit, <laughs> halfway up the stairs, uh, just like <laughs> if things go south, it won't be memories. a TPK. Don't yeah. worry. Thank God. I'll Carry get out. Carry on. I'll get. <laughs> I'll throw. Crumbs in the quarry for all three of you. <laughs> if we go, like, if, so if I venture forward, now that I have the requisite number, one, will you all come with me? Two, would you prefer that we check out the other entrance, the third one, uh, up, up above? First, I think there's only two. We, there's only two. two. Oh, is that true? Okay. Just so two. this is the only other one. Yeah. Left and right. Yeah. Like, is it a left Twix first? or a right yeah. Twix? Yeah, he's talking crazy. Choke him, third one. <laughs> yeah. Just choke him a little bit. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Yeah. Only I can like, speak in my mind. Third entrance, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Talking about three doors. Yeah. Uh, well, you, so you offer us the choice. Yeah. And we're going to come with you. I'm saying like, yeah. Was is this the is this the play? Because there's no other there's no other common place. There's no going entrance entrance and exit in this room. It's just the gate. Well, this this is. As near as you can tell, it is identical to your very first experience um, intersecting with the Wandering Crypt. Mm. I look directly at Walnut, because mm. I'm waiting for your answer to his question. Oh, I said, uh, I get on my ledger and I go, um, oh, I'll, I'll follow you in again. Absolutely. Uh, and I go, you know, you have unfinished business with your god. We dealt with mine last time. But I want to <laughs> write in my ledger. Um, you want to communicate? I want to say... Um, we're in the crypt, about to enter gate. I look at you. Little wimp gate. Three is the wimp gate. Five is the big gate. Big boy gate. Big, big yeah. boy gate. Big, big tough boy. You turn that gate on, and then I'll come down the rest of these stairs. <laughs> you turn the gate on? Yeah. So you want to see it working? I want to see action? it working. Okay. I want to make sure there's not going to be acid or spiders. Well, let's find out, yeah. Because okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure either. Or acid spiders. Or acid spiders, God. heaven forbid. If only. Sorry, yeah, heaven forbid. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I will um, clutch my this new necklace of, of the three symbols. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll actually just draw it off, wrap it around my hand. Mm -hmm. Got the three here. The yeah, share on the, the gold. Yeah, and I begin to approach the uh, the black gate with it, expecting the uh, focus, the foci, to start to rotate the and twist and, and find other facets. Yeah, exactly. Like it once did. <clears throat> um, so, can I get a perception roll from you, Rosie Beestinger? Sure thing. <sighs> Fourteen. Okay. Cool. So, uh, as you... Well, bonk, bonk, you know. High numbers are better. So, when you... <laughs> as, as, you are, as you are approaching uh, with this... Uh, with this cluster of symbols, um, you can see them sort of... They're almost like moving in a breeze. Mm -hmm. um, they make a sound like uh, marimbas, almost. Just very, very low. Like it's almost, it's almost just pure vibration. Mm -hmm. You just know it's a, it's a, it's a note that's so low. It's just a feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you get close to this, you can see these symbols fill in, and they sort of like shift between other symbols you don't recognize, and then resolve one by one. Uh, into the symbols that you have. So the symbol of Maleth, uh, the symbol of your Ur, um, and then a third symbol that doesn't doesn't have a 
isn't identifiable to you, but you know must it must identify some other consumed divinity. Oh, and we're talking about that sideways Obama. We're talking about yeah, we're talking about um, Obama. yeah, Obama. Obama. Yeah. Obama. The, Obama. the sigil of Obama. Um, <clears throat> Obama. And then you, you see you see you see them you see them fill in, and then uh, it's almost like the center of it exists on the same plane as a, a compass where it sort of floats inside the rest of the gate. Mm -hmm. um, and then once it sort of finds whatever mystic axis it's designed to discover, you can see those pieces slide out into the gate. And then you see the gate itself uh, move farther back into the stone around it. Mm -hmm. And now it goes just completely down. This isn't even a conscious thing, but Rosie has stepped in front of Walnut. Yeah. That's <laughs> kick ass. Staring, staring doing, into doing. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop she, short. she doesn't mean to. <laughs> she doesn't mean to. Like you're you're way bigger and very strong and capable and a bear really in some some cases. Is, but, it, is, like, it, the, is it the arm the arm or the staff? <laughs> it's both. It's it's her whole body is now she's like up to up to Walnut's knees. Exactly. And, and you can but terrified. Can, not not can, brave. Very scared. You can hear it behind you because oh. these um, these staircases, as you recall, there's multiple staircases that go down into these chambers. Right. And you can tell that these staircases have begun to salivate. Damn it. Um, there's nothing, there's no, you're not being cast out. There's no acid rising. There's just something delicious about prey that willingly enters the mouth. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I said. I, look at that and I go. <laughs> this shit wet as ever. Spit. That's right. It was. It was all moist when we came down here the first it, time. It's cave spit. Mm -hmm. Bet my life mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bet my bottom dollar. But you can see that I'm. I am so, like, I'm so disgusted with disappointment. Oh yeah. The, this is just common. It's so trivial. It's. <laughs> it's. This is the same. It doesn't matter that this is a crypt that does this. It's like watching a earthworm eat. It's like, who gives a shit? <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. I'm, 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 I ate it. I'm going to poop it out. Mm, Just like mm, animals do. More, There's nothing worth worshipping here. <laughs> this is garbage. Wow. I'm furious. Are you saying this out loud? Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can accept <laughs> that. Yeah. Just yelling it into the mouth hole? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and as... as <laughs> not so he's thing. sort of... He's sort of uh, mumbling and hissing... Uh, directly into this into this <laughs> tunnel and at regular intervals um, there is a breeze would have would be more sustained and be more consistent but there's a linear mm -hmm. there's a sort of linear curvature to the air as it comes out mm -hmm. it's cold damp air uh, and then as it passes you you can also feel it come back. Right. It's breathing. Ugh. Cool. If that other chamber was a lot better. Yeah. I big fan of the other chamber. I, <laughs> no, I turn. I, Supreme I, chamber. I, yeah. I, I, I'm rolling my eyes. I say, oh, breathing. Another cornerstone of the unknowable. <laughs> of the infinite. <sighs> maybe not taunting it, honey. Maybe, maybe not the best idea. <sighs> oh, so pleased. All right. Um, but yeah. All right. Wandering crib. Got a breathing hole. Okay, all right. The gate is open. <clears throat> It's like uh, some creepy pasta shit you're saying to the secretary as now. It, <laughs> before you have finished writing, the gate is open. Mm. You see below, it says, uh, "I will notify Omendron." And uh, and I go, "Tell him I said no." I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my last joke. Now let's get serious. <laughs> you're like, I'm the brave one, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> That's gargoyles. Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I can't think of anything pithy to say, so. There's nothing in the rules that says dog can't play baseball. <laughs> okay. uh, there is a, um, uh, as we're, we're feeling this breathing happening, yeah. Rosie says, just to Walnut, very close, very softly, it's like, you're very lucky, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Walnut goes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, uh, I want to. Look, coax Denar over. I know. Yeah. Like, but, 
it's so we fine. are like halfway out. <laughs> come yeah, on, come on, big in. boy. <laughs> it's just like kind of. It's like you're far enough up the steps so you kind of have to like lean down yeah. and look out. And it's getting. I mean, it's just like all your handholds are getting more and more gross. And I take your disgust Grandma's for, like, room. the same kind of disgust I feel like, yeah, right? <laughs> God. Yeah. We're, we're lucky. We just watch it procreate. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. It yes. No, it's stupid. I agree. It's not fun. I it's gross. And I hate it. Agree. Do you want to sit here insulting it all day? Or you want to go through your gate? No, I want, I want to go give it indigestion so, or what? <laughs> are you all like lined up behind me then? Yeah, I just yeah. tied us all together with the rope, which you missed me pantomiming. And also, those on the podcast, I lashed everyone together with okay. grandma's, grandma's rope. rope. Yeah. I saw that what that was? something oh, cool. happening over yeah. there. I yeah. will I loop it over. Yeah. It's uh, very smart. I'm going to uh, fix the ur in my mind. And I am also going to cast. Uh, Dancing lights in the form of the earth before me. Ooh, wow. wow! Like a like a the prow of a ship. Nice. The only ship that I worship with the earth on his tummy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a troll. Yeah. He's like a Care Bear. <laughs> like a Care Bear. Yeah. Put it right here. <laughs> uh, no, I I, I I I draw that symbol in the air. And Is then it I, gonna hover I, in front of us like a lantern? Ideally, yeah, okay. yeah. As, as much as I'll, as much as the DM will you permit wanna that. Fix, how, do you want to fix it to? Um, a position near uh, Lagati. Got his snoot. Oh. Just like in front. Oh, oh like a little sure, crown yeah. on his head. I mean, if it helps, I mean, either way, I'm controlling it mentally, but if it helps me to give it a focal yeah, point, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm that saying, is how I play I'm saying, it. like, you know, you, you know, be the fan art you want to see in the world, you know? <laughs> That's for sure. Ooh, yeah. I um, have an idea for yeah, you. Go ahead. Let's Please. I place this, I, I draw the, the ur uh, in the air. A little bit behind Ligotti, and through those facets. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh, it just oh, it's a bunch cast. of May it be projected. Oh, yeah. Fuck. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. <clears throat> so there are symbols that you did not draw. Oh. That orbit, the Ur, um, and they're 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 purely fundamental concepts. Do you like, recognize the simple? You know, they're just simple. Mathematical expressions moving up into the algebraic. Just little, 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 little floating little, fractals. Yeah, <laughs> mathematic symbols. Well, yeah, yeah, but the times. But, but visual. It's divided. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> like, it's like yeah. but it's like the old school division, like with the dot yes. and the, the yeah. two dots yes. and the, the, the slash. I. What could it mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's different variations on the curves of the Ur itself. Yeah. Different mm-hmm. perspectives, extrusions. Are these like mm-hmm. causalities of this Ur. Who knows? Symbol. Who knows? More of its truth being revealed. Yeah, I'm ready to go in. Right. Yeah, it's just, it's in just mouth. the Ur is in a dialogue with itself about certainties. If you if you had if you were going to anthropomorphize the concept, you would think it would be something like comfort. Hmm. I just want to play this game forever. We we can. We never have to stop. Thank God. Okay, sorry. We never have to stop. So we can good. just play this. Until we are very, very old. Like it. We can just keep playing it. So when you say penultimate, you're talking about that we're just going to not air the rest. Yeah, exactly. The rest, <laughs> we of, the rest going. of it is going to be private. It's going to be fine. at my That's house. Fine. <laughs> okay, I, the, I forge ahead. I start to I, walk towards the I got the Cheetos. I'm the right crunchy behind. kind. Not the puffs. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank God. Right? Jeez, somebody Fuck. All right. I'm Dude, season eh. two. I know. Out. No. Are you bringing up the rear? Always. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's me. Uh, okay, me, you, me, you, you. Okay, okay. that's our order. In the so, spirit of DM Daddy following that's right. us all. Exactly, yeah. overhead. Mm. Um, I'm so pleased whenever somebody, whenever I see somebody link the GIF, or the GIF, I guess, which is... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, get, I get super cranked. Like, that's that's the Halloween as shit. Fully, um, fully erect. Right? Yeah. No. Engorged. Engorged with blood. Anyway, <laughs> so, Kathris uh, Drow... Kathris Draub enters this, um, so you move from this sort of domed room mm-hmm. through this oculus into a second chamber, and then you can see what looks like, um, it's almost like a, like a gray pink stone. Imagine like a, imagine marble sort of shot through with pink quartz. Okay. Um, so it's so the light from the Ur is subsurface scattering. 
is glinting down through the stone itself. And as you look down, you can see, it's almost like, functionally speaking, an esophagus. You can see that it has the equivalent of just ridges that project from the outside, uh, from the outer ring of this cylinder. Mm -hmm. And it goes down farther than you can see. How, how, how big around is the cylinder? <clears throat> the cylinder itself is probably 25 feet. And this is a this is a stone. You're not describing like a hole or a it, shaft. It's it's a shaft, and then it is ringed okay. with this sort of descending threaded spiral. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so it's not all of that. It's a it's a bead through it. Okay, I was misunderstood. Uh, and how wide is this spiral? Is it traversable? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So coming coming perhaps you know three and a half to five feet. It's variegated, right? Okay. Um, it's pulling out from each of the sides as it goes down. And we can't see the bottom? You can't. And is it, is it it's, so it's oriented like we enter the room and then pretty and then much it, goes it just starts to Exactly, and then down. it goes down and mm -hmm. then you can sort of traverse this odd, you know, organic seeming corkscrew. Mm. Sure. I'm gonna just in case, yeah. real quick. I'm just gonna make cast you some of my most powerful spells. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, actually, <coughs> actually I, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to do anything to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I go to clap you on the back, do one of those classic enhance abilities, and I just go. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're feeling strong in case we start going over, and then I, I, I tighten just, the. I just want the rope you to know that I respect you. I faint, <laughs> and then you have to drag me no. in the back, the heaviest of all. <laughs> The metal armor scraping against the stone. Do we? Mm. Can we set up any kind of like uh, save point here <laughs> before we go down into this shaft? Is there any way we can do a recall? Plan? If only yeah, town scroll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How? What are how? What are we looking at in terms of uh, how wide is this plant? Or like what we're walking? Three to five on? feet, he said. So yeah. We can walk down. We can walk down. We can. But you're you're big. I'm having trouble. Clarkmore would have even more trouble. That's true, oh, yeah. but you can summon him down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could summon him and unsummon him everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, 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 I guess he's up, st up top. There's no Clarkmore shit on these. It's, this well, is not happening. Yeah. I like, will let him be the judge. <laughs> just just say, summon. get out here, you! And he just goes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and you Where's the shot? <laughs> <laughs> um, does it look like it's dark down there? Quite. Okay. Um, every, every place that the light of the Ur is not present there is a a um a profound darkness okay yeah. so we're walking into a mouth it's no place for a young prince a breathing mouth mouths also talk should we try to talk to this giant hole yeah boy we could couldn't we i feel like throats don't talk though <laughs> like you need lips for the talking all right so we go back out it to just, the entrance <laughs> then you just, you just yell at the dirt just go back to the fountain and just be like hey is this where can you yeah, well, you, I think, have said enough that if it was going to talk to us, it would have talked at this point. I, I would talk imagine. You're talking trash. You really. Yeah. Well, it, even if it couldn't hear me, like, my my feelings about it are apparent. Sure. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a surprise. Um, what are we looking for? Were you hoping to find that last symbol, or? It was the only way in. Okay. That's all, that's yeah. all I know. Oh, just told us to come down here and take care of okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we go. Yeah, we gotta go down. Let's go. No, I try to. I try to offer you a like the save point stuff, right? Did, yeah. Do you like? Do you enunciate? Yeah. Do you enunciate so we any did, of that? Like say it in a D and D way. Well, yeah, but like I, like if I interpret your anxiety about it, I would say, uh, don't like don't worry. We we have always been in this room. We have always been at the lip of this of this. Shaft. We've always been at the edge of this thing, and we will continue to always have been here. That's so nice. Thank <laughs> you. I do feel better. <laughs> and I'm so comforted by that idea. <laughs> yeah, we live on the lip of the shaft. Even <laughs> after we are consumed, <laughs> we will still have been here at one point. Here, here lies Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. That's not as good. Here that's lies Cthulhu. <laughs> he lived on the lip of the shaft. <laughs> He couldn't help it. He died as he lived. <laughs> On the lip of the shaft. On the lips of the shaft. Um, let's go. Let's, let's go down. Let's go down. <clears throat> so lead the way. Let's, let's march. Lamp boy. Uh, the farther, so up near the top, is highly 
uniform in its construction. It goes, like I say, the staircase equivalent that you're walking down and around ranges between, you know, between a, a foot and a half, right? But the farther you go down, there are small breaks in it between uh, that have to be traversed. Nothing, nothing sophisticated. There's close calls, but your seasoned adventurers, this is, you know, this is nothing new for this crew. Um, We're one seasoned adventurers. One seasoned, <laughs> wow. Um, pachow. Now, uh, but okay. as, as I said, so it gets less and less uniform and more organic seeming the way it is. It always sort of reflects, you know at some level that it's, this is its body in some way, but it, it's always sort of performing and pretending to be a dungeon. Yeah. Like there's something about that that is attractive. It serves some purpose. Maybe the method it learned. Exactly. You know. But the farther you're getting down in, um, you're starting to see uh, deep pox. Mm, Chopra. Uh, deep, deep pox. You're starting to see deep pox Chopra. Chopra. He's there. He's here. Oh, he's not. I'm relieved now. <laughs> I Honestly, no, I found my son. Wow. <laughs> no, he's not here. He doesn't have any supplements. He's not here yet. <laughs> so, yeah. He's telling us that blueberries are superfood. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Steve. Oh, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. There are craters. Mm. Okay. Holes. Sure. Oh boy. I'm trying to avoid these some yeah. of these terms. Don't worry. But there are. Uh, they sort of look dug out, um, sort of where the where the multiple veins of this quartz uh, are sort of joined out. You can see that it's sort of dug or mined out. Yeah, does it look like it's been cored out or just malformed? No, it looks it it has it has that organic cast mm. that where multiple veins of this material join together. Whenever there's enough of it. Um, it looks like uh, something happens. Does it does it look like something burst out, or that someone came in and mined it? Go ahead and perceive it. Okay. Oh, I'll take advantage. Oh yeah, you're gonna need it. That's a twenty-one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there is scrapes around the edge, um, like right around where it would emerge. This is not the sort of scrape from a tool. It's much too fine mm -hmm. um, all around the edge. Okay. And then you can see light scrapes against the surface um, that travel away from these. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these something, holes. something's hatching out of these holes. Yeah. I let everybody know. Mm -hmm. Like chest FYI. bursters just. Exactly, yeah. Wall there's, hatchers. There's wall something, hatchers. That, there's, there's gonna be something waiting for us at the bottom. Um, yeah, so you are traveling down this gullet for eight hours. Oh, wow. We stopped to rest. At eight hours, I think stopping to rest is a good idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we, since we, 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 turn, <laughs> you know, we turn around, it's like, it's been eight hours. Should we stop here? And you're like, oh, 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 wow. Yeah. Wow, what I missed. Like, <laughs> you're like, man, it's easier to walk now. <laughs> Sleep and being dragged the whole time. Oh, my back's killing. Oh. That's what it is. We make yeah. camp. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, this uh, tube. who's <laughs> tell me your watch order? I'll take first watch. Usually, it's Kithris and I switching off. For these long sleepers. Oh, that's right. So yeah. you, you guys handle the these first two. Mere mortals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Need my eight. Growing boy. I like it. I can do four. Kithris can do four. Okay. Same. Yeah, we're. We, I love it. Well, hey. I go sleep my babies. Walnut dumbgrass. Yeah. <laughs> Ripping the natural world. Tie me to a wall. So yeah. Why don't over. you uh, give me a perception check? Me no. Please. Ooh, um, that is good. That's going to be a 21. <clears throat> so you hear uh, a scraping sound. Oh, no. Like... Like, like, on a like on the sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something fine, something fine tipped. Um... I'm going to, is it close? Can I discern if it's close? You can discern 
It appears to be coming from above and below. Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to wait. And if it sounds wait, like Jay, it, uh, listen, I don't want to wake anybody up. <laughs> I want to see if it sounds like it when I want to wait for it to get louder. And the minute it gets louder, I want to rouse the troops. But, I mean, if it's just this thing, you know, it's an old house, and it's yeah. settling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but, I mean, if we're going to fight, I want them to. No, so you hear, so the, the sounds um, reach a crescendo. Oh, jeez. Uh, the closer they, like, the closer they are getting. And it's like, like I say, it's just, you know that it's coming from both positions, but they're both bouncing around in what is essentially this Chamber pitch action. black cylinder. Um, and then they stop. Um, I'm gonna wake up. Um, they just stop. They just stop. They dead stop. Okay. If I wait like five minutes, do they come back up? Is it still quiet? It's quiet. It's a dead quiet. Hmm. And I have dark vision. Do I see anything? You don't. Okay. Well, I guess that's just the noise that it makes. I'm sure we're fine. Um, I'll keep going. I would keep going on my watch. Oh, I don't agree with that, but okay. <laughs> you would wake everyone. But I mean, this is what Walnut does. Exactly. What would Walnut do? Yeah. This is what yeah. she would do. Dude, Alyssa? She's not a min maxer. We need a line of what would Walnut do? Bracelets. Bracelets. Rainbow. Bumper stickers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we find a word that means do that starts with W? So it could just be four Ali- W's. Alyssa's actually writing this down. What would Walnut want? What would Walnut want? What would Walnut want? <laughs> what would Walnut want? What would Walnut wear? Um, head to toe. The summer line. Summer line. Summer cave line. Um, no, uh, I think that she is going to maybe like have her hand on her sword um, and just kind of be very alert. Uh <laughs> And I want to say that she has her hand like near near Kithris, like she's like gonna shake him awake at any yeah, moment. Yeah. But like, like she doesn't see anything. Yeah, hover hand. Yeah, she's hover handing Kithris. Re- refresh me on uh, the that elven trance. Like we are able to get our rest, but in that four hours, we're also aware of uh, what's going on around us. Ooh, is so it true? I think it is. That's that's what I recall. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it may be that. I'm aware of this sound, but, but it, I also... But it doesn't like, mean you're at your best. Oh, no, of right. course not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't want to wake up the caster willing to... Right. It's, but, it, yeah, so I'm not... I haven't stirred either is what I'm trying to okay. say. Like, it's, it won't be a surprise to me that we heard something. <laughs> so if we get all the way through my shift, tell me if we do. Yes. Okay. Then when my shift's over, I tap Kithris, and then I just um, uh, I put my hand up. I'm like poking your head, poking my head. Yeah. Uh, I go. So, so I don't want to alarm you, and I certainly don't want to alarm the people that need their sleep. Um, there was not one, but several noises, scratching. Seemed like maybe something is close to us, but they haven't done anything for a few hours. So, anyway, um, I'm going to take a rest now. <laughs> and <laughs> she's out. And she falls out. She's immediately. Like a vampire. Protect us. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Right I'm <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting cross-legged, but like. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm still talking. You like, wow, that's it. Oh, and I, yeah, I hear. dial tone? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. found. Hi. This is Walnut Dongrass. Yeah. Are you fresh in the Dongrass? I don't know. Yeah, this is it. Walnut's conscious mind. <laughs> We're out here right now. Uh, sleeping in the pile. With uh, okay. Having heard that, the good news, <laughs> I I now take watch. I don't I don't make any special moves either. The good news. <clears throat> here, give me the uh, perception check that I crave. Go, roll me a four there, Cthrys Drow. Go. Here we go. Ready for the four? Like, what if it's I'm a four? Oh, man, can you imagine? 20. It's so freighted. Okay, it's not four. So it's going to be... Uh, it's two fours. It's two. <laughs> um, two fours and half of a four. And a half a four. <laughs> uh, I think that's a tw- elf. Twelve. No, wait, where's my perception? You tell oh, me. That's oh, 13. 13. Because there's drow. I'm sorry. We leveled and I haven't perceived since. So it's 13. On November 2nd, in some cultures, a 13 is, um, is a very lucky number. So that's actually true. a 20. Oh, oh, I was true. just going to say, yeah. should I incorporate? On the, the Mayan calendar. Yeah. Should, I, should I incorporate your worldview? 13 is the most worlds? 20-esque yeah. of the non-20 <laughs> number. It's about as close oh. to 20 as you can get without being a 20. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, drink responsibly. So uh, you are sort of getting everything set 
um, Walnut is in her sort of feral ultimate vampire rest scenario. <laughs> yeah. Everything's good. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and then, as, as I described, the lower you've gotten, the more there are sort of like pox and uh, missing sort of like slats in this endless corkscrew that goes down. And uh, as you're getting everything set up, you look over and you very plainly see a massive spider. Oh. White body, oh. Um, oh. blue blue specks, uh, sharp legs. And it looks down uh, over you at the party and puts its puts the long sharp tips uh, of its legs over and sort of like it's reading a menu or something greedily <clears throat> yeah, yeah exactly with those eyes yeah and it says you serve our master what have you brought us hmm. consider this a moment um, how is it speaking to me? How? Yeah, is it, is it it's mind to mind? Or, oh, okay, it is whispering in the language I know. Um, I hate all of that. And how large? How it's large? Milky white eyes. <laughs> Making me hungry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hungry for milk. Yeah. Uh, ooh, la la. Uh, that's me and you eat these three. <laughs> It's my food, not yours. So I say, not in a whisper, but out loud. So it's <laughs> louder than I normally would. Indeed, we do serve the same master. Is this intended to wake us all I'm up? I'm trying to wake you all up. Yeah. Yeah. Does it work? It's in ours. Just dead to the world. Yeah. Yeah. I you brought you a dragon board. <laughs> 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 that we may continue our passage now. So um, we roll to see if we woke up or what? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I would love to see perception rolls. I just want to see how it works. I don't. I just want to see how the scene. Well. I just want to see how the scene. Twenty. Sixteen. Give me another. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so it's really yeah. three. So <laughs> this is perfect. All right. Here. So and you roll so off the edge. So it's, it's like this, and it's like. Right. They just the thumbs just get folded in. Ready to Another fist. Yeah. Um. And then and then Rosie, the you're 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 up. Yeah. Um, so I was never asleep at all. Exactly. You, oh. just, you just open your eyes and you're ready for work. Right. Um, and then, and then you can you can sense another one. You can just sense the clack I, of the ends of the legs. Yeah. Looking down, there's like a a, a cord of saliva Ew. that comes down and just pools along the side of your face. Mm. Mm. We do serve the same master. This feast is mine. <laughs> I must preserve my strength that I may continue. You understand. Oh, it is, it is the way of all who serve him. <clears throat> and then you, you, you get the sense that it has done something with its body that denotes some kind of respect. It's almost like a salute, like it lowers its head briefly in recognition of something. Um, I think you can ride it now. Exactly. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only I can tame them. Only I can ride them. So uh, now, uh, this is time for initiative. Oh, boy. Yeah. Enough respect, apparently. Mm, bop. Yeah. Did I wake up? Nope. Nope. Oh. Wow. So what What kind of a bump so, is that initiative? Should I go yes. last then? Yes. 16. Okay. Well, yeah, I did okay, 16. too. 14. 16. That's a nice one. That's all right. What you got? I'm a 15. Okay. How about you, Rosie? Four. That's perfect. 13. Just how I like it. Okay. Uh, now, Lagati is with you now. He's, yeah. 100% of the time. Um, I need him he to see. He is sharp um, and dangerous, in addition to all the rest of the other cool stuff that he offers you, for the primary one being vision. Friendship. Right. Oh, yeah, vision. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to tame them is your cause, I think. <laughs> to train them. Yeah. <laughs> but to, tell me about this about Legatia as a staff, like as a as a weapon of 
maybe not a bludgeoning, but a, can I pierce no, with, it's the, sharp. with the base? The base of it is a perfect point mm. of this living crystal you've seen okay. iterated in all these forms throughout mm. your adventure. Stabbing weapons. It is 66 yeah. damage. <laughs> 66 Legati damage. <laughs> It's a new type I just made up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, there's a conversion to actual damage, but the Legati damage is like 12,000. <laughs> huge, it's 12,000 to one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so absolutely. So Walnut Dongrass, um, you are now seated. Mm. Um, and then you can see right over Kathristraub, you can see that this, this torrent of arachnid saliva it's just sort of, he has he does not react to it in any way. Of course not. He loves it. Yeah. Across the in way, mouth, across the way, you see another one, but you hear more. It. I hear more. I okay. flash dance it. <laughs> um, in that case, I want to. Where's my other second level? It's Man, not my thanks. job. Thanks. To uh, keep track of your spells. Yes, it no, is. He's got you it's there. just in the box. It's right here. I oh. just don't want to cast it. <laughs> I just don't feel like. It. No, I do. You don't know what will happen. You gotta cast it. I got it. If you can't, can't I don't, cast it. don't cast it on your friends. Cast it on. I want these bugs. A five foot diameter sphere. In an unoccupied space of my choice. So how far above us are them? Are they? Are them? Are. Are the are they? Are them? It's are these they? Are it's them? They are it's them? No, it's up. <laughs> it's up above you, uh, perhaps fifteen feet. Perfect. So, Perfect. in the space between, uh, I would like to. Is this the Dave space? Matthews? Sons? It's in my yeah. head. There it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to cast flaming sphere. That's a hot sphere. And. I know that it's hard for me to cast spells unless I really let it rip. And I want it to you, be known. You tell me how it goes. I want it to be so, known. So you were going to cast this Flaming Sphere? Yeah. To, for, the, for the folks at home, why don't you let them know what it does? Flaming Sphere is a five-foot diameter sphere of fire that uh, appears in an unoccupied space of my choice. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 2d6 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage. Um, and on as a bonus action, I can move that sphere and oh. ram it oh. into stuff. Just a Hell wrecking yeah. ball. Move that sphere. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. I want to hear you. Right. No, it's not. This thing is a fireball. Sphere moving. Um, so, yeah, I want to put it above us, um, you know, so it's like 10 feet above us or whatever, and then yeah. just put it in there. Um, and then, as always, the flames are green. Oh, yeah. It's very important. Green flame. Flames yeah, green are flame. green. The flames are green. Why, Why green? I, cause it's, I don't Emerald know, fire. Natural world, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're not in it. But, but, within, when they, but, if they're, but they're within five feet of it. When they end their turn, they make a dexterity saving throw. So I will just nag you when yeah, yeah. it's their turn. But so that's that it. deeply awesome. And then she uh, gets to her feet. As, okay. my, as okay. my movement, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, <clears throat> as you are summoning... This orb, Ooh, right, yeah. it's, it's begins as the size of a, like a grapefruit melon. Sure. Um, and then you have to work very hard, dutifully, diligently, to expand it to the regular size of it. And there is a okay. point at which it reaches its maximum size, but you don't think that you think it wants to be bigger. Well, I want to pull. I know that there's a place that I'm not supposed to pull from the place that makes my magic weird but I feel like I'm worried that my magic's not cutting it without pulling from that corrupted place so much like a weed whacker I'm gonna yeah. just pull it <clears throat> alright can I get a constitution oh, save from you good golly don't be, don't be sad. good yeah. golly a uh, 12 yep that's good so, uh, it, it expands to this green orb, and mm -hmm. it just rests in the middle of this uh, spire that goes up for hours. Mm -hmm. And it shrinks a tiny bit, and then is shot through um, with violet. And oh. so it bursts higher than the party up on this other level. 
and it begins to cast out Oops. licking flames on that entire tier. Whips. Mm. Love it. Got All that right. air burst. Yep. Whoa. Uh, to thrust <laughs> Yeah, she goes, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like Laser Zeppelin. Yeah. Um, nice. Finally. Kithris Drow. Trying to, just trying to read up on this on this new spell. Yeah, you got some, some new products. Yeah, what is it? For the, oh, is, yeah. this, is this from your fall line? Mm-hmm. You're going to love it. What's this feast? You'll love the pattern. It's hypnotic. Uh, Great. It's hypnotic pattern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell us about Tell hypnotic pattern. Tell me more. Pattern. Yeah. What about... Weirdo. Is your, your, is your tummy hungry? What about your minds? <gasps> This is what is what I say. Pretty good. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone says encouraging things. Okay. Even the spiders are like, okay. (laughs) I see what you were trying to do. Good one. I wanted to hear more. Wasn't that? Didn't our sleeping is still being encouraged? Yeah. (laughs) Good one, buddy. It was good. You did a good try. Your heart's in the right place. This is a uh, this is a thirty foot cube that is uh, gonna. I'm gonna fill it up with that ur, glowing brightly. And uh, uh, if the creatures within fail a wisdom saving throw, then they are charmed. Oh, really? They are incapacitated and cannot move. If they take damage, they will be roused from okay. this condition. But, How but long it might last? stun them. It's concentration for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They'll be, yeah, I mean. So they're basically hypnotized. Yes. If they don't take damage. But only for a minute. Yeah. But we can get another squad. Turn. Okay. Yeah. They basically, I mean, if we wanted to leave, if it worked, we could okay. potentially do that. So there is this massive flaming orb. Are, are we at sixth level or what? Yeah, we are. It is a sixth There's level. this sixth massive level flaming orb that's reaching out uh, with hissing violet flames in all directions. Um, and then here, just above it, stands this infinite impenetrable symbol um, that even to gaze upon it is to lose your mind. So, um, I look at it all day, every day. Yeah. We know. I'm tough. You give it a try. <laughs> Rosie Beestinger. Yeah. So you are uh, at a point on this sort of stairwell that goes down and up. Yeah. And you can see fully two Spideros. Sandra Spideros. Yeah. Uh, each side. Okay. Those are the ones that you know about. Are they um, at a place where um, there's like a platform near them for me to? But you can you them? can you can go straight up the the staircase if you want to. Okay. Well, I don't want to. And get access to that Spideros. I want to teleport behind the uppermost one. Ooh. Because I can do that through Shadow Step. It's a bonus action. I can teleport from and into dim light or darkness within sixty feet. That's pretty dope. And then I get advantage on the next melee attack I make. The next melee worm? Yeah. So you stun them, but I'm going to try to continue your stun with a whole uh, a whole devastating pile of shit. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try some stuff. I want to see it. I want, to, I, 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 want another, I want another one of those classic rosy <laughs> martial arts I need like films. six D20s. Um, <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just a regular melee attack. Um, from behind, which has advantage, mm-hmm. and that's going to be uh, 12 plus 7, I think. That's quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a 19. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my s- regular second melee attack um, is going to be uh, an 11. In the shitter. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to attempt a stunning strike, which, um, for those who have forgotten, it is after I hit a creature with a melee weapon, counting my hands, I can... Uh, Spend a key point to try to stun it as to succeed on a con save or be stunned until the end of my next turn. So I'm going to try to continue your stun. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I guess you just have to roll a con save. Mm-hmm. I, don't have to, I don't have to do anything there. Uh, it does not make it. Okay, so it is stunned. And then I'm going to do two more um, unarmed attacks, which is going to be a nothing and a 23. And a something. Okay, so that's two successful attacks, both of which are D8. Right, so and a stun. And a stun. Um, so the damage for the staff will be a six, and then the damage for my hands will be a twelve. Yum. Mm. Use the staff. Lord. I know, forget the staff. Okay, and it's stunned until um, the end of my next turn. 
Well, so we can't do anything. Right, that's a premium. That's a premium staff that's experience. Some monk stuff so yeah, yeah, a, for you. So we got a, a spider at full health, but stunned. Uh huh. And then we have charmed. or charmed rather, yeah. 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 And then yours, which is stunned, stunned and, and damaged. Damaged. Right. Yeah. Right. So and you guys can all attack mine freely without breaking the stun. Incredible. So you beat the shit out of this thing. Correct. Mm. Um, could have been. It could have been. Uh, there could have been more damage. Yeah, and you guys didn't know I could do all this stuff, and so you're really impressed. Yeah, oh, so yeah. you think it's the best. You have to roll the save versus like how cool Rosie what? is. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fall down the tunnel. It's so cool. Uh, yeah. Oops. <clears throat> all right, now. Who needs uh, it? <laughs> so I'm the most popular, and nope. the, uh, everyone in school likes me. <laughs> the, two, the two that are up at the top, um, stunned. One stun, they took damage, but then it got stunned again yeah. Yeah. by you. Oh. It's pretty yeah. sweet. Um, it's like wherever you would hit like the solar plexus of a spider, yeah. like, that's what you hit, exactly. I guess. Yeah. Like it's most tender. It's got a few, that's why yeah. I did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, I got them all. Uh, now, uh, Walnut, your... Uh, End of their turn, right. Evil, yeah, exactly. No, I was just going to say, this evil orb is going to start flipping out on them at the end of this turn, at the end of their sure. turn. Dexterity save. <clears throat> exactly. Now... Uh, two spiders crawl out and up Ooh. from the rung below um, and go wild on Denar Blitz end. Oh, oh no! Because he's asleep. <coughs> and he is delicious. Oh, they palp him. Wake up, oh, you, know, you, don't don't get, yo, you don't get palped on that one. <laughs> Yeah? You don't get palped on that one. Thank you, Tamara. It's an air palp. Oh, no, yeah, that's a, yeah, you get double palped on this next one. Uh oh. Dang it. Is that a blomp blomp? No, it's, it's, it's blomp adjacent. Let's oh. say that. Okay. Uh, Give me that blomp blomp. Was well, it a 13? <laughs> that's, that's, five, that's five points. Now, can you roll me a constitution <laughs> saving throw, my friend? Uh, so roll that D. Hold on. And add that C. Hey, okay, let me do his HP. Yeah, let me, one thing at a time. I'm doing a saving throw. D. Yeah, well, I have an order of protection there. Chief. Chief. I get a uh, bonus equal to my charisma or higher. So plus three. So what am I doing? The constitution? You are. So do I get the constitution and the charisma? No. Yeah, assume so. Oh. So plus five. Yay. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> oh my god, so you're still <laughs> a, a shitter. To a four. Dang it. Kind of so, oh, nine. 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 That's nine. bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> math is fun. Well, that's not good at it. And that was role playing. Take 14 more points. <laughs> 14 more points? Holy you should have saved. Ah. You should have woke up. should have saved. Stay woke. You should have saved. <laughs> Stay woke, obviously. Now, you also... So you are wake up. up? Oh, well, that's good. <clears throat> you wake up, up and they're literally... I don't want to wake up. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. At the end of their turn, they do deck saving throws. Oh, I know. But I'm saying that you wake up and there are two spiders. Yeah. Like, really big... Spiders. Is it my turn? I think no. I like you. No. So at the end of their turn? Dex. Saving throws. It won't surprise you to learn that spiders are pretty dexterous. Yeah, I know, but just do it. <laughs> well, actually, they fucked that one up. Thank you. Oh, they you fucked know. that one up, too. All right, yeah. there's four of these things now? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, so what are we talking about there, Walden? Uh, I'm... Uh, I, I get to roll it. It's 2d6 fire damage for yeah. each. So five for one, and you know what? You get to pick dealer's choice. And then ten for another one. Ooh, Jeez. Yeah. That's nice. And they smell like barbecue chicken. And they, it only hits two of them? Does well, it hit all four? No, it's, no. What's that? Does it not oh. hit all four of the spikes? No, it hits the, to the top four. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it, hits, it hits them too. So these are the ones that... So it's reaching out, mm -hmm. and it is actively getting these dudes. Oh, did it get the other two? Yeah. Oh, are you just going to... No, no, these are safes. These are safes. And how'd they do? They, sh they shit the bed on both of those. Oh. Get all those spidey. Uh, okay, so a uh, five and a three oh. for one. What is that? Eight. 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 <laughs> I'm not good at it. That's a seven. Seven, thank you. Dang, girl. That's a hundred. That's a lot of sphere damage. It's a 43. Yeah, mm. okay, so the one that the one that you... You... you nuts on it. Yeah. Um, and then it's just sort of like vibrating there in the dark. Yeah. Gazing upon this symbol. And then you can just see this sort of slowly revolving malevolent fireball lashes out like the crack of a whip, um, and just just right right across the the jowl region. Um, so this this the spider that was in front of you is in the absolute worst shape uh, of its life. Dinar in, uh, you are now awake. Hooray! <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Little note that order of protection, everyone within 10 feet gets that as well. Ooh, nice. Automatically. Bonus on saves? Yeah, my, my charisma modifier on saves. 
Is that so fucking on any other save? If you're within so many feet. If you're within 10, 10 feet. feet. Well, yeah. that, and that's just a passive. You gotta be in kissable right. distance. Mwah. You get plus three. You know where I am. You know <laughs> yeah, so you'll me. always be in the range. Uh, all right, so I'm awake. Yay. Yeah. Before <laughs> we went downstairs, <laughs> Denar even said, Hope there's not an acid. Hope there's not spiders. <laughs> Hope Kithris kisses yeah, that me is too. True. Little background yeah. info on him. Afraid of spiders. <gasps> is so that in his history? Denar was having you night terrors up. about oh, spiders. No! Wakes up, sees spiders. Freaks out. Yeah, <laughs> Denar oh, just, just immediately grabs the sword. Are they a favorite enemy? He was... Yeah, just he's afraid of them. Oh, okay. That's just a phobia. So yeah. are you like actually frightened by them? Like, do you no. have the status well, No, he frightened? was like freaking out having spider night terrors. So there's a little flavor for you. Yeah. Day terrors. Yeah. Day terrors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so so they're there. They have, they have, now that you have gotten up and gotten a hold of Toothbrush, they've sort of like withdrawn and skittered up on their little legs. Yeah. Oh, he's going to seize a spider, grabs a sword, and just lunges at him. Just, <laughs> no, no. Just wakes up screaming, <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see it. Do we have to pause? Should I roll when we come go, back? We'll do your turn. We'll pause it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah right. Yeah, right. I see it. I'm slow on my stuff. I, I, I feel bad. Uh, all right. Pressure. I'll just go regular I roll. planned my turn. Punching. <laughs> I know, I know. I did. All right. No one. No, it's who's who's, who's so the one that's out. closest to me? Is there the one that's hurt the most? I kind of want to go after that guy. Well, you know, one of them, one of them took a... Uh, Pretty brutal. I want to go for the lashing. one that's close to death. Well, yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can see you can see one that is scorched. All right, like it's the white bulbous abdomen right. has a pronounced scorch advantage. Oh, like spider ass. Taking advantage. Take Take it. Taking advantage. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a ten. Um, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to declare if I'm going to do a Your great weapon. Great weapon, which I am. So I'll just okay. keep that as a. That then becomes a ten plus uh, just plus two, twelve, or a. Oh, oh, there we geez. go. Close. 21. Got him. That's bam, much bam, bam. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Crunch, so crunch. 2d6 plus 3 plus 10 plus I'll smite him. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to die. This guy hates spiders. 5, 1. I get to reroll the 1. I keep forgetting to do that. Mm-hmm. So. Kick ass. There we go. Yeah, that's 11. Much <laughs> 14, 24. What? And then I'll smite him for. Uh, what smite? Uh, 3d8. No, regular divine smite. Just tack it on. So I'll do a 3d8. It's plain. Nothing, you don't have to roll for this, right? Nothing break. fancy. No, it's just, no I do. It's just it's a, a thing? It's, well, no, it's just attacking on. Extra damage. It's 3d8 because I'm like, burning a no, spell slot. It's, nice, it's, it's nice. all a cart. Yeah, so it's basically like, I hit him, I connected, and I just juice that sword oh, for an extra pop that's at the end. great. Six. Jesus. That, that ain't bad. Yeah. 40. Right. And that's, uh, that's one of your two attacks. Right? That's one of my three attacks. I'm assuming he dies. <laughs> well, here, so, so, so you come up, you go, ah! <coughs> and then, you, and then you, 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 you come up low. Holy shit. Underneath, and you flip it back up and out into the empty space in this column. And it passes through the fireball <laughs> and emerges on the other side of mist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, next attack, Denar Blitz. So if you kill a guy, I get an extra attack, and then I get my, <laughs> and then still part of the attack onto the first attack. Then I get a second attack. Dude, level six so, Denar Blitz in is bad it's news. Second song, yeah. oh second God. verse, Keep, same as the first. Stay asleep. Was that the one that I was fighting that he just killed? Or no, no, that no that, that's yours up here. So, yeah, so, you so just, yours is hosed. Yeah, you you take care of those guys. We got the weak one. Like, <laughs> All right, but you got the full health one down. Go to whoever's next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, other one, the other one that was uh, cavorting on top of you yeah, is right here and ready to go. Dick. All right. 18. Ooh. Yeah, that's another good one. I forgot to take advantage. Well, good thing I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, 18. So, boom. Uh, that's a 20. Oh, yeah, it's real good. There's no question. I see it. Oof. 8, Two 9, fours. 10, 11, 21. I'll smite again. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I can do that again. Big money. Season two, I'm gonna take some paladins. I know, right? Woo! Get some of this. We're all gonna be paladins. So what, what did you drop? Twenty eight. Uh, yes. Jesus Christ! Is he dead? <clears throat> oh my God! Yeah, he's absolutely dead. Right. And so okay. and so, yeah. 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 Wal- Walnut. So as as he, as he comes through Come this on, this next one, <laughs> what? I get sprayed with spider goo. No, that's Fucking cool. Jamba juice over no, here. No, 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 no. Enjoy it's, it. <clears throat> so the other, the other one is the, is the upward strike. It flies mm-hmm. out, shrieks. Uh, this one right here, you just come down straight through the middle, oh. and it just the the entire uh, front of the spider, that spider face, if you will, yeah, uh, 
just splits in half and the heavy abdomen just drops down, droops over the back and falls down. You see uh, along the blade, you see the face uh, of a dragon. Wow. Like flashing in the side of the blade, you can see uh, a dragon has like joined him in this fight. What? Uh, what? I'm, I'm channeling my rage. <laughs> exactly. So I you can need that. So you have one more attack? Yeah. Okay, well, you should use it so we can go to break. All right. Who's closest? So I'll take advantage. There's, there's one, I was just going to say, there's one, there's one that's over you. But like getting him, getting him down might be difficult. I have a, I have extra little weapons on me that I haven't really used. You want to try one? I have a dagger, a war pick, and a whip. I could whip a war pick at him. Or should I whip him? Just whip him. Just whip him. Whip him. Do this it. is the coolest in How do you have a whip? <laughs> a For whipping. Whip? Yeah, I have a whip, a war pick, a great sword, and a dagger as my gear. Wow. And I just always oh, use the sword. Whip it up. Though. All right, I'll whip them. But see, this isn't my, my great weapon, so I always use my great weapon advantage. All right, I'll use advantage because it's a fun. Weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoy it. Just keep it rolling. Oh, you don't even need it, but maybe you'll get one. Nope. 15, 15 right. 18 plus 6, so 24. So, yeah, definitely hit him. 1d4 plus 3 slashing. Okay. Not the best. No. But you can yank little him down here. A little tickle. <laughs> just a little tickle. Well, I want to oh, yeah. yoink him down, I yoink guess. Yoink him, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is the foreplay. A 2. So. Plus 3, so three. 5. So 5, okay. Um... <coughs> so <laughs> how, how? <laughs> slash, slash, and then you put the sword behind you, and then the, uh, from the belt, the whip cracks up on the top. You go, like, <laughs> um, you, you can see the the tip, the whip's sharp tip plays along the eye cluster at the top, and it withdraws oh. itself. Is a whip a melee weapon? Yep. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I yeah. could divine smite a little snap at the end of that. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> you may as well. <laughs> Might as well. Yes, you showboat. Burning all my spell slots on these divine smites, but it is funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll do a level two, so it's... Wish I could do some damage. Two to <laughs> <laughs> Six. It's like six. You made it really pretty simple, though. And a four, so ten. <laughs> And one of your hits is like my career <laughs> total. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. So then you, you bring the whip back, one quick pull, wrap it back up, right on the belt, uh, and then a post. Yeah. Um, and I stretch. <laughs> from, from like 60 feet up, you hear tiny applause. <laughs> uh, Shadow Council, Mayor Labor, please you. Uh, it is time for our commercial break. Uh, thank you so much for spending your Thursday with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm Jared for K. Horkims, and this is Tessie Teams. Hmm. Hey, so What's when up? last we saw our heroes, we had a chance to witness the, f the power of this fully armed and operational battle dragonborn. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I <coughs> um, Raid. It was Kill Roach is dead. It was grotesque. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was like an Orkin commercial. Um, could we get back up to the top of the initiative cycle with yeah. Walnut Dongrass? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, so what do I see? I see one gross-looking boy. Yeah, you see one gross-looking boy across the way who's in a, a pretty savage state, just sort of like shakily trying to keep itself up on the tips of its legs. Um, and then you know that there is another one above you. Well, the one that, that's, one that, that's the one that Rosie's with, right? Uh, no, Rosie is with the one that's, the, that's the opposite. One? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, She's so fucked it up pretty good. Then I'm gonna use my move to just like push that sphere uh, and ram it into that creature. Oh, just and bring that it creature to just just <laughs> occupy its space. Like a spirit bomb. Um, Anime. Yes, reference. and it says it must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage. So that means like I do two d six and it rolls. Like if you move it. it directly into its space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Cool. Question is, does that spider want to make a saving throw? Or is it just like... I'm, I'm checking out. Did I, yeah, gonna let did it I whip the fight out? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. doing it, I could have cast it at three and I would have gotten another d6. Well, that's juicy. Stupid. Keep that in mind for the future. Eight. Uh, eight. Okay. And it just deals the damage directly to the creature? Or is there uh, a save involved? No, this is the save against the damage. Okay. Uh, very, very good save. Damn. Delicious. Does he take half so, or does he... Uh, yeah, he takes half damage. So okay. four... So four. Okay. And it stops there. <coughs> that's the one that's up top? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It also sheds bright light. Oh yeah. It's definitely so doing if they that. Don't, if they're, you know, so if they, they don't, don't like light. Creatures, if they're yeah. all white because they're... 
you know. Yeah. yeah. Living cave, little cave dwelling spiders. That's right. Maybe they don't like it. Spiderians. Just something to think about. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck them up. I go, <laughs> and stay out. <laughs> Chris Ristrow. I liked it. Well, yeah, what's the scene? That one's cooked. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one is that one is currently being um, simmered. Broiled. Yeah. Um, it's locking in the juices. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then obviously just opposite you can see uh, you can see the tip of the staff of the master poking up <laughs> from behind this great abdomen. The, 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 the destroyed one. Yeah. Yeah, and it's still stunned. It's fine. Yeah, it's goofed. It's goofy dandy. Uh, hit mine. Gosh, I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. <gasps> and it's not that exciting, so take it easy. Roll, roll well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm going to do damage. Actually, that remains to be seen. Uh, I'm gonna use a cantrip that we once thought would be good for this character, but turned out not to be vicious mockery. Yep. Oh. Uh, and uh, remind me. Oh, that's uh, versus. That's wisdom save, right? Okay. Um, do he make it? Do I bother to roll? Well, here. Oh, there are d4s. That's right. Uh, he make it. Oh, okay. Then there's no point. <laughs> what does vicious mockery do? Uh, you... It will get. It'll make him take disadvantage and a little tiny damage. Okay. Yeah. A little gentle. Did it make him yeah. sad? Make him a little bit sad. Yeah. Okay. That was you, the goal. Can you roleplay how you're mocking? This yeah, part? exactly. And that it doesn't work. Vicious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, keep in mind these don't land. <laughs> no, it doesn't land. So what I so what I want to say is like it would be like, you're my meal tonight, but instead uh, I say like, my meal's ruined. Because they're gone. The spiders are ruined. I was gonna eat them and they're gone. You thought you'd Go next in the order. It's not me anymore. Rosie, go. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, I mean, it's like a it's like a newborn gazelle. It's just like trying to do this, and it's like you feel like you find a part of your mind that has sufficient metacognition to make you feel like an asshole. Like you are like yelling and trying to be mean to it. <laughs> Yeah. And a rack. Why did I take this cantrip? <laughs> exactly. I don't need this. Like you're the one. It's you. Yeah. Who no, feels bad. You. You don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nobody needs this. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Rosaford K. Beestinger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this this uh, spider in front of me is looking rough, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So then I'm just gonna keep giving it the sauce. Uh, two melee attacks and an armed attack, um, which will be a twenty. <laughs> And uh, yeah. uh, Lucky. I will. I, t- I, t- I promised the Discord I'd keep my one, so that's an eight. Um, and then an eighteen. Okay. Two hits. Dish it up. Okay. Okay. So uh, one is a quarter staff attack, and one is a kick. Um, oh. Quarter staff is a seven, <laughs> and the kick is an eight. Oh, this is kick ass. So tell me how it tell me how it works. Okay. Um, so I took two swings at it, and I was going for that that big old abdomen. I like to think that it's only got like two unbroken legs left. <laughs> so um, I smush it in the abdomen with my quarterstaff and it goes, yeah! <laughs> and then I take a leg, I like sweep the leg under both of its two remaining palps. <laughs> yeah. And then um, try to kick it off the edge. Well, yeah, that, is, that is exactly what happens. I mean, these, these, oh, these all connect. Damage is sufficient uh, for the kill, but then this, um, it's destabilized. And then you just kick it yeah. straight off, yeah. and then it just it it's, it takes a second for it to peel fully over the edge, nice. uh, and then it falls, but you do not hear it land. Oh boy! Okay. Hmm. Um, Cause I hate it. The midair. And I use your line. I go and stay out. <laughs> wink at you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was cool. Uh, <laughs> the uh, creature takes its turn. Okay, what's it want to do? Uh, Does it want to pass through the fire? You cannot see what happens. Uh, it is your turn, Walnut Dongrass. Oh. I push the fire higher. And I can push it up to 30 feet. Do I get it? You just keep pushing it farther up? Oh wait, yeah. do you want to p- pull it down? Towards us? Well, you want to pass through the fire Isn't that where the flame? spider went? No, the spider keeps going up. Yeah, the spider it, was above us. Yeah, this, this spider was like right on the rung above you, yes. And is it fleeing upward away from us? Who knows? You I'm can't see it. I see, I see. Mm. Yeah. I mean, my thing so is... You're, so you're just going to keep pushing this Eldritch Wrecking Ball yeah. higher up for its licking flames to yeah. scour the rest of it? I want to see if it yeah. gets anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's an incredible sight. You see the... 
you see this orb pass through the Ur. There's a moment where the symbol of the Ur uh, exists, sort of completely ensconced by this fire cast everywhere. And then it goes up and you can see these uh, amethyst tendrils just reaching out and just scooping out anything that's that exists out on the stairwell. Oh, I think that that, and then I think that that's actually it for that spell. Yep. If uh, we weren't already totally all aware that your magic is really bonkers fucked. right now, I think we'd know it for sure after all this. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so that was my bonus action. Cool. Uh, so my for my actual action, um, uh, I'm going. So Rosie's shadow stepped out of the rope, so I'm going to imagine like the rope all uh, fell. So I want to. Um, uh, it's still tied to Dinar at the end. I'm going to have myself tied to the other end, and I want to jump over the edge uh, and see if there's anything below us. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I want to see if I can sneak attack something hiding down there. How much rope do you have? Uh, Just enough to hang yourself. No, I have like 100 <laughs> feet of this thing. 50 foot. Okay. <laughs> so half that. All right, you know. 100, so give or take Like 100, 100 feet. <laughs> it ain't bad. I want to see if I... It's good. So you, so you, you, you sort of swing yourself down? Then. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't see anything down in that lower rung. You're looking around. You're trying to catch a couple <laughs> oh, stacks I, of it. I hear Dinar's back break. Yeah. <laughs> I weigh nothing. <laughs> you don't say anything. You just do it. I'm like, Bleh. <laughs> No, I say like, <laughs> say, hold on, big guy. And I jump off. Nice. You go, no, I'm not hungry. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosie Beastie. Me? Already? Again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and there is a um, spider above us. That I cannot see. Is yeah, that there, true? Well, there is. There could be. Okay. Um, and I also I assume that because of this ball of flame, there's no dim light for me to teleport into to use my shadow stuff. Uh, it is. Is, that it is very, very bright. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. As you move farther up this. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know if I want to go up there by myself, but. Uh, yeah, I don't think I do. I think that I will rejoin my fellows, mm-hmm. especially because I just saw you jump. And yeah. Maybe I, I I'm don't. S- I'm swearing because I yeah. didn't see anything. And I thought it'd be ah, so cool. Yeah, it was cool. So you're gonna yeah, so you're gonna come friend. down. You're gonna come down to where Dinar is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so Walnut, so describe to me how you're. Are you are you like just hanging? Wait, did I get to go? <laughs> you go after. Yeah, so after the thing... He's d- asking because it's the monster's turn, and I did it. Yeah. I, I goofed. I'm trying to picture... No, so... <laughs> I did a bad thing. So, you're, so, so are, you, are you sort of like, like free climbing? Like you're just no, sort of hanging I, like, on the rope? Like, uh, like it was around her waist, like she was like repelling. Okay, but. there we go. So, 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 so you, you, you brought yourself in, and yeah. now you're on the stable ground? Sure. Okay. I mean, if it's the next rung, then yeah, yeah. it would. It's exactly, exactly. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't know if you were... Like not, suspended or... Certainly not dangling in the middle. Oh, well, that would have been great. Um, no. I also think Denar would have jumped off. Yeah, the exactly. Edge. And exactly. Then, and then he goes, and then I go. <laughs> so like ice climbers. <laughs> so you get yeah. you get down there. Uh, you you land. You're looking around. You don't see any targets. You sort of cast your eye around the uh, the entire circumference of this cylinder, mm-hmm. um, and then as you turn back around to the original point, the spider is there. In fact, you see. It appears to crawl out from nothing, um, and then as soon as really? as soon as you see it, it leaps bodily onto you. Ooh, dang it! I swear louder. Uh. An old druidic. Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> weird. But, but, but what is it? What does this swear mean? Like translated into common? Oh, oh, translated into common. It means like um, oh, oh, oh. It means a. Uh, like nothing grows in your mother's soil or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, can you imagine that oh, hardcore yeah. shit? Oh man, that right shit here. is not That's fertile. Rough. Okay. Exactly. Dang. Even her garden. Even her garden. One hey. too many meatballs. So your mom's peonies <laughs> are dead. Yeah. So Damn. ten points, and then I need a. Uh, oh, damage. Uh, no, five points. Five points, and oh, then I need uh, a Constitution save from you. And I am not within ten feet anymore. Oopsie doopsie. Ten- uh, well, oh, 17. Pretty good. Whew. 17. Pretty good. All right. So now you take half damage, which I'll is suck on that. good oh. for you. Well, oh, shit. What'd you do to me? I did not do it. 
How? <laughs> but you took 12 points. But the spider did. I'm not oh, worried boy. about it at all. <clears throat> what are you at now? So... 29? Okay. Uh, the, the, the black fangs find... find some entryway into your uh, gambeson. Sure. They just they get all the way in, and you can feel it going through, but you're able to push it off. Ow. It's in my shard wound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! Um, it's the same. It's the same. Uh, Dinar Blitz in. You hear, uh, you hear Walnut shriek from yeah. the from the level below. Exactly this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so how far down is the rope? Uh, she is just one level down, so she's about fifteen feet, maybe below just you. Just out of that range for that help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. eleven feet. Eleven feet. <laughs> yeah. No, ten and a ten point five. Yeah. Uh, well. All right. Well, uh, I. I guess he's shaking off the the, the wild-eyed fury, yeah, <laughs> the confusion. Uh, uh, just still spiraling down, so I could either walk down. Yes, or exactly. Ho- and it, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be, yeah. I mean, you could you could pull her up from there, <laughs> or I could run down to that level, but then you'd be one more level down because <laughs> you'd be dangling. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it's probably not smart to fight while you're tied to me like too much. So I'll. Uh, I've been tied together this whole time, so yeah, fish yeah, 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 her up. Yeah, she's getting. Ooh, yeah, she'll, yeah. Get, she'll, get, she'll get bit again. Yeah. She'll get, I was gonna say you will activate another attack. Yeah. Oh, if, 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 if I if I yoink you, you up, but if, if you pull her away, would do, that yeah. does seem like honestly, would here, be. don't look at it. It does seem like what Dinar would do. If that's oh, well, what Dinar does, no, do it. No. Uh, I I didn't realize it would initiate another attack. That's okay. Would well, then I'm gonna go down there then. Yeah, go down there. I'm gonna run down there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna kill you like I killed your friends. I hope one of those was related to you, as I'm covered in blood. Spider. I'm still crazy. He was like, Spider ah. goo. Don't mess with my sleep. He's smearing their blood on my face. Ah! And then as I go down, you're just dangling <laughs> the, down. The, the best part is that you're running down, and it's like as soon as you sort of come around, you can see it over there the whole time. You're just like fucking talking to it <laughs> yeah. while you're coming around yeah. the corner. You stay right there, you piece of shit. I'll be over there in a minute. You could, and uh, you're gonna get it. You could really talk to him. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> On here, one here. half dead spider. So so I'm gonna murder this thing. So tell me how it goes. I run over there and I stab the shit out of it. Let's see it. <laughs> I do it. This. I do it. <laughs> that happens. Like that. Do you want... This is the last one, right? Or the other one retreated up, but he's gotta come through a fireball. Yeah, it's the last one we've seen so far, yeah. but they apparently are infinite, so I don't know, yeah. Should I just keep running past? <laughs> if we're all tied to me, should I just keep running? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna run there and I'm just gonna Run right up into his face, toothbrush and all. Advantage mm-hmm. and uh, great weapon mastery. Good thing you took it. That was a five. Wow. Twelve. Mm. Twelve misses. <gasps> he was too angry. I was too angry. I've seen his nut get mauled. <laughs> I get two attacks though. Miss on the first attack. Get another yeah, attack. True. Mm. All right. Well, now I'll just go regular boy style. Regular boy style. <gasps> That's a fourteen. I get plus ten, but still. Fourteen is enough. Fourteen is, is good. Oh, is it? Yeah. And I get him. Twelve is not good. Take that, spider. Two uh, d six plus three. Mm-hmm. Seven ten. Uh, and I will smite it's, level two. It's dead. Okay. okay. Never mind. <laughs> <You're> anyway, <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> Just like smush, smush, smush. Smiting <laughs> the corpse is exploding. <laughs> God. <laughs> no. It's. <laughs> Just a <laughs> little more. Just let it yeah. go. <laughs> this is a, that's the that's the gift of the year. I just stop it. <laughs> oh yeah. Stop! Stop! Yeah. Give me those legs. Yeah, where the spider? Half an hour. <laughs> so you so you use basically a lateral slice uh, straight through the lower half of the front four legs. It just kind of falls forward and then skitters its way off and falls down into the hole. Um, that is it for these friendly spiders. Ooh. Okay. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like banging into the side of the walls down there while <laughs> I'm like freaking out. <laughs> How far are you down? 50 feet. Well, no, no, I mean, in terms of the I was HP. Oh, 29 out of 46. Ah, I, I can shape and then get all those HP back. I'm 33. I do not want to heal myself. No. One bit. I got a lot of those. 33. Yeah, we got the same hit points. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. um, you are now uh, in this tunnel. You hear no more 
Skitters. Good. Mm. I go. I go. Darn. <coughs> Help me. <laughs> Help her. <laughs> you know what? I'm like leaning over like and I go. Knife, like. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is kill. And <laughs> yeah. This is her karma. Magic, her magic is all busted. She can't heal herself. She's at 29. She's. She's got like four less than me. Dinar looks her over. I know, I'm like... At least a 29. You're at a 29. I'm at 33. I'm a fiddle. Fine, this is fine. I couldn't help you when you were needed me most. <laughs> Should we rest <laughs> on the ledge post-battle? Sure. All right. We could do a short, a short rest and do hit things. Oh, and do a short do, rest. Do a short HD. Yeah. How much do you heal on a short rest? It's a hit die? Well, right? you expend them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, okay. It's a resource that you have. That's the... Uh, um... Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Where is it that it says it on these sheets? So I'm trying to figure out where it's going. It's a 6D. These are the one. Where you play uh, your yeah, you oh, shit. I don't know. Yeah, this is yeah. Oh, you've got the weird... Oh, right there. Yeah, you go. Oh. So you can expend those as a as yes. a resource during the short rest. I would like uh, to do okay. that. Okay. Okay. That sucks. And then you, on the long rests, you can earn some of them back. Mm-hmm. So I'm use two, six... Which is why they say, why not a long rest? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop not? there. So I used, I used two of mine for the folks keep you track at home. Where are you back up to now? Uh, 39. Okay. okay. That's a five. That'll take me to 38. You hear a sickening thud. 39. Oh boy. What? Can that I do? resonates from, up the... From the bottom? Oh. It took that long? <laughs> A long, are we going the wrong way? <laughs> oh, hi. Those are seven. Uh, yeah, so that's 49, and I've used four. I was going to say, if you guys want to fast track this, then if you can hold us, I can cast fly on Oh, you. yeah, you want to fly down there? Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. You just that's have to dangle us like bait. <laughs> Got one, one left. The <laughs> tummy. Yeah. T zone. Let's just lash everybody to Denar and then Yeah, let's fly. fly. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do this like a la Princess Bride here. I make everybody a little uh, like the like a seat, like a loop for everyone to sit on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tasteful. And then I you put say, it over to our shoulders. Anybody want a peanut? I do. Mm-hmm. I say, right. would anyone like a peanut? I don't <laughs> have any. I have really gross good berries. I'm sorry. I'm not. Don't like them. I like that you keep having you keep the good berries around. Well, right I keep making them, and I think something will happen. But <laughs> you know what? I like them. I'll have one. <laughs> oh no 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 don't! <laughs> She, yeah. she throws it over the edge. <laughs> so, uh, so you so you you summon the strand. Right. Uh, it's thick. Ooh. I put Rosie and the Bjorn in, and I hold my two little babies. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just, you my just babies. drop like safely. Or, yeah, that's a max speed. Yeah, it's exactly. Not terminal, but, but you're getting you're sort of like by the. By the end of this journey, you're starting to get, you're starting to swing around and around a little bit closer. Uh, So you're like, at the point, you're you're sort of like pushing off of the steps. (laughs) Kicking. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Um, It's it's so dark as you get down that your feet hit the ground. It's it's like when you're, it's like when you're uh, on a plane that's landing, but you're sort of dozing. Mm. Um, Mm. And all of a sudden, it's like, okay, we landed, okay. Yeah. That's a new sensation for me. I guess the ground is real. And it's something like that, like the shock of it against your feet. Mm. Um, everyone sort of like <laughs> drops a foot. Oh, Feels like spider ACL. guts. Yeah. <laughs> Can't we land on the spider? Exactly. We <laughs> just smush them a little. Yeah. Exactly. So at the base of this, um, uh, it's gotten more and more uh, crystalline. The mix between the sort of gray white granite and the other colors of stone, Mm -hmm. um, the mix has shifted radically. So down here, the stones are uh, multicolored and almost jewel-like on their surface. Mm -hmm. Um, They they interact in a strange way with light. And there is a great volume of light um, just before you spilling through this uh, arched doorway. Oh, so it is a doorway. Okay. What do we see through the door? <coughs> You'll have to go in there. Let's go. We have to decouple. Oh, yeah. Um, can I do a perception yeah. check on that door? 
Yeah, sure. No. It's a door. <laughs> what kind of door? No, it's not. That's the thing yeah, you didn't even recognize it. <laughs> I will also perceive. So I'm sure Walnut will as well. Hey, 17. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't want to roll work on that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can, you can see there's a shape that the light itself is, you know, voluminous, but it has, but there is a shape in the middle of it mm. moving. Hmm. What? There's something in there. There's something moving. Okay. I want to do an my, arcana check. My Ooh. brilliant dragonborn eyes. <laughs> okay. Just enjoy it. They don't lie. And just enjoy a low roll, just for fun. Hey! Oh, it's all right. That what one's gonna be a twenty. Nice. Yeah. Hume. You think that this may be Hume. related to the Nemesir? Oh. oh, like the shape? Or I just get that sense. The, that the shape, well, the, the magic that's coming off of it, um, and also your guess as to its rough, pos- its rough position, based on where you came in and how far you've gone down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think that this may be related to? Oh, so it's good. It's oh, the the, the pod. Indeed. Okay. Okay. Not the city. No. Yeah. 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 There's, there's a, what you planted to get us mm-hmm. here. The yeah. dryad. Yeah. Okay. My daughter. The, yeah. <laughs> Let's pr- let's proceed. Yes, I like the feel of that. Mm. Touch the feel of Nemesir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesir brand uh, yeah. seed the siege weapon. Of reality. Yeah. Look for <laughs> the Nemesir label. Now, so so, um, so you enter into I mean what has been transformed. It's really uh, almost just like an antechamber. You can see that it has that same. Mimicry, but it's hard to tell. I mean, it could be that someone went into the wandering crypt at some point, and our ideas about what a dungeon should constitute it, it's hard to, it's a chicken or egg problem. Right. Um, because it, these, these shapes and these forms don't seem to have any mortal purpose. Yeah. They're just expressions of itself. Um, so deep inside the, the marble walls are. Uh, just shapes, um, curves, and, and arches. There's no, it isn't, there's no like a bas relief. Like no one took the time to carve something down here. This is just a, like a natural phenomenon. It's just that what constitutes a natural phenomenon for this thing looks like something constructed. It's like a, uh, it's like a, a deep dream. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Using yeah, like dog, like yeah, old cathedrals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Ooh, creepy. Um, so when you. Uh, when, as you enter in, mm. something that you are aware of this in a way that's different from the other members of the party. Okay. You know, looking at it, what it must have been like mm-hmm. um, to see something like this come down. And there's probably a sense for you too, Kathris, to imagine, because it's glowing bright, like mm. with a natural light, a sunlight. Okay. So to have something like this pierce the roof of your city and then you can, you can see almost ghostly images of, of uh, enclave warriors mm-hmm. just spilling out of this light. Oof. Uh, and so you can imagine what it must have been like to have a Nemesir strike uh, deep in the town, but you can see this thing is bored straight through the roof of this chamber, and it has bored straight through the floor of this chamber. So the Nemesir, even now, it's bright, it's brightly lit, but the mechanism of it has done its work, and it is still twisting and burrowing down mm-hmm. uh, on both sides, uh, both the ceiling and the and the bottom. And you can see that there is like a icker, almost like the. Um, the steps, mm. and but wherever it drips from the ceiling and hits this light, just hisses away. It's like, mm. have you ever seen like um, like a raindrop from a glove or something like on top of a hot stove? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just hits the nemesir and it hisses away. Like mm. the nemesir does not tolerate any part of it. Wow. Mm. Mm. Um, and it is from this chamber you can see in front of you three doors, but you know, you know deep in your heart that no harm could possibly come to you here. Mm. Like, the Nemesir is, is 
the Nemezir has made a garden mm. of protection and comfort in this place. Mm. Well, I love it. <laughs> love what you've done. I love yeah. what you've done. Well, you just stay here. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I say, um, I say, uh, I say, it's okay. We're we're safe here. We're safe down here now. I say, and I'm like touching it, and I'm like, I, you know, I can feel it like way down in my wishbone. Whatever bones, okay. <laughs> whatever bones elves have. <laughs> my elf bone. They didn't teach me that. Yeah. Um, here, but so you you touch the nemesir. Yeah. Why not? The uh, whoops. Just, yeah. just do it. Roll. Yeah. If you feel safe, no, do a constitution no check. Yeah, right? nothing bad's gonna happen to <laughs> me. If you love yeah. the safety. Why do you marry it so much? Oh no. <laughs> oh, Jerry. You need to take 42 damage. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that would have been great. No, 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 you, no, no, you don't take 42 damage. But you know upon touching it, mm-hmm. you know that the warriors of the Enclave could travel through it. Oh. <gasps> What? I was going to ask that. Like, when, is this hollow? You know that the warriors of the Enclave, because you had that vision of them emerging from it and attacking, mm. you know that this siege engine, like a, like a Trojan horse or something, mm. its other purpose is to act as a conduit for uh, gleaming warriors of the surface. Oh, so, as I touch it, I think I go, um, I go, oh, I think, this is how, I think this is how we get out. I'm like, this is definitely at least how I get out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, um, but no, I, I, look, I look and I go, I think this is how we're supposed to get out. I think we can go up this. Can we go down? Oh. Maybe. There are, there are some other like, more conventional methods of... Like these doors? Yeah. Yeah. As I said, there are three doors. And as, as you're pondering the mysteries of this mm. uh, light column, mm-hmm. um, you hear a... Like a, a pounding Whoa. on the left door, on the left of the three doors. Uh, a happy pounding? Or, yeah, what yeah. kind of pound? Party, uh, party bass, frantic? Like a, like, EDM? Yeah, yeah. It's rhythmic. rhythmic. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, mm. You're rhythmic. <coughs> this script's are rocking. <laughs> yeah. Is there a tie on the door? No. Um, <laughs> and I, sa- I say, okay, well, if we know we can get back to this place, we just need to remember which way we go. Mm-hmm. And I look at Dinar and I go, which way do you want to go? I uh, probably avoid the pounding. I've gotten this far in life by avoiding the pounding. <laughs> I go to the good advice. door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, can I, can I uh, give the doors a once-over? Yeah, sure. My eye the doors. Jesus. Eleven. You have no perception bonus? No. I just look at stuff. <laughs> Well. <laughs> I'm very surface level. Yeah, let's, let's I want to look at the left door. Ugh. One. Oh, Boy, you're going to mock my perception. Anyway, huh? these roots are really great. <laughs> it's, a, it's root of the year. 13. You, you forget nice. to look around the root yeah. to see the door. And you're just like, <laughs> it's uh, great. Um, yeah, so these the doors don't appear to have any... There's nothing especially novel about their construction. They seem relatively simple. They have a... a a wide handle on them that can be pushed down and, and pushed in. But mm. as you go to examine that left door, the middle door begins to knock. All right. Oh. So, but there's nothing discerning or incriminating about. They're identical besides the noise. Yeah, as near as okay. you can tell. All right. Just curious. So the left door is left door is rhythmically banging. And it, and it has now stopped. And, oh, and as now he has examined door. it, now the middle door is banging. Yeah. Okay, we have to maybe go through the banging door. I don't know that we can go through any other. It seems like when we go up to it, it, it is the banging one. Mm. Does that mean that all three doors lead to the same place? Maybe. Mm. Let's just take the route down. <laughs> Let's just ride that route. Let's jump this, is, this is a route rider, a tiger <laughs> puzzle. You know, there's this route riders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should go through the doors. We should go through as this place is intended for us. All right. The, the knocking becomes frantic on the far right door. Okay, so it's gone left to center to right. Yeah. Uh, I want to uh, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I want to gauge what would be knocking, but I'm not sure. What, I mean, that might be Perception. an investigation. Yeah, sure. Uh, investigation is usually about. Um, yeah. 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 Right. 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 Yeah, the, the black the, lights. That's CSI Red Larch. Uh, if, you, if you want, if you, you can use perception to try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, uh, let me let me. Try. 
perceive, or the other option would be I want to try and like arcana the nature of what might be behind the door. Yeah. If there, if I get a sense of it, let me just do perception first yeah. and fail. Okay. Uh, that's all right. No, I'd say um, thirteen. You think it's being struck by a tool hmm. or a weapon? Oh, someone trying to get out. With, so and it's metallic? frantic. Still? It is groaning constantly, frantic. Yes. Okay. But it's gone from door to door to door, and they've all stopped. So obviously, we all stand in front of a door and open it. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. It's fine. Sounds good. There's two ways to win. Let's make a deal. Either you always <laughs> stick with the door. You always move after the first one, That's right? True. Or you just open all of them okay. at the same time. Mm-hmm. Let's open all the doors. And you're disqualified. Let's a lot of people don't know that, but we yeah. should open them all at the same time. All right. Okay. Who wants to hang back from a door? I mean, I will. <laughs> but you're tanky. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you should. You're squishy. I'm I think soft. you're soft, yeah. and you have more controlling abilities than the rest of us do, probably. <laughs> I guess, theoretically, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, I'll be at the left door. I'll go in the middle. All right. <laughs> do you want to? Uh, the left door. I'll take the attack. <laughs> okay. All right. On the right. So as I said, each of these doors has a uh, a large handle, sort of set in the center of it, that you can push down with some effort, mm-hmm. and okay. it disengages the mechanism. Let's try it. On three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 You pull it open. Uh, in front of your door, so ready, by the Walnut, way. of course. In front of your door, uh, Walnut, you don't see anything. Rosie, you don't see anything. You look sort of into a, a vast, dark room. You think you can see tiny glints in there, but you're not sure. And you are standing weapon ready, and in front of you is a boy I hit him whose back. weapon is also at the ready. Oh. Like a human boy? You think it's it's human? What's Could be it, half elf. What's it look like? Yeah. Uh, hair short, like a uh, almost shaven hair. Uh, he is wielding a, a tabard that is too large for him, and he has a uh, a hammer with a pick at the back. It looks like a it looks like it should be a mining tool hmm. and not a hammer, but it does mirror it does mimic a, a cleric's weapon. Hmm. Uh, can Rosie and I go see blah? The or is well, you guys are you guys are away. away. Okay, it's only <coughs> but you can see that he has opened his door and he has his weapon. Okay, and he has uh, the boy has his weapon as well. Mm-hmm. well. I'm not gonna attack a little kid. Yeah, blast this boy. We love yeah. kids. Yeah. All right, thunderous smite. <laughs> <laughs> and I just bring it right down over his head. See how tough he is. Talk Pull a sword on me. Yeah. Ah. I get advantage against boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I got to burn one spell slot for yeah. boy advantage. But it's worth it. Um, so, yeah. yeah, so... Uh, I have to be like, well, how'd you get down here? Who did, who did it? <clears throat> he is trying to get out of this room. He looks over his shoulder, and then he still has his, his weapon up, mm-hmm. and he's like like, um, like a little league, like a, mm-hmm. a little boy at, at, at base. He's He looks like he's ready to go to work. Now you know this would not function. Yeah. Right? But you, you're, you're seeing the... He's, he's ready to get out of this room and he'll try to get through you if he can. Okay. Rosie... But he doesn't answer me? Yeah, Rosie's gonna already be over there, by the way. Like you, you asking yeah. questions of someone and she sees this kid. Yeah. And she's instantly grandma. Yeah. She's like, Oh, sweetie, what are you doing <clears throat> here? And she, she like goes to reach and try to protect he looks, him. He looks over. He looks over as, as the arms go. He's like, no. And you can see he reaches inside the tabard and pulls out a symbol of Timora. Okay. And he says, are you ghosts? I don't think so. You can, she, she thinks you can, about it. She's like, as, <laughs> as he emerges into the light of the Nemesir, you can see that he is not... Completely solid. Okay. Mm. Non corporeal. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um, it's a year a ghost, dude. We might be ghosts to. She's going to try to talk, kid. Um, yeah. We might be ghosts to each other because you don't look completely solid to us either. He says, I need to get out of here. My sister fell through something, she fell through a door, and I need to get my mom. Okay, where's this door? He, he looks over his shoulder back in the other room. In that room? Okay. 
Where's your mom? She's back in Red Larch. Okay. Um, What's your mom's name? He looks over at you and she's like, she runs the Drawn and Courier. Is it Prophetess? Yeah, he, he tilts his head a little bit. He's like, I haven't seen you there. Uh, we're friends of hers. We're friends. Um, we don't come around often. Um, I think it's a really good idea for you to go get your mom and get out of here. And we, were, we will go and find your sister. You stay safe. I think you should come with us. <clears throat> It's a little kid. Yeah. 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 Kitty Rosie's never going to endanger a little kid. He, he looks. He looks at all of you, and he says, "I will remember you. If you come to the Drawn Courier, my mom will take care of you." Okay. Are you? Can, can you get out of here safely? I got in here. Okay. All right. He says, "My other sister is down here too." Two sisters. I have two okay. sisters. Okay. By this time, we're all clear this is Omen, right? Oh, yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> no, from, no from looking at him. Yeah. yeah. Just like, Ugh. Yeah, you're like, you're, it's like, oh, it's just like all the drawings I've seen of him as a child. Um, okay, oh so you have, you have two sisters down here. Where's your other sister? One fell Could, through a door. One fell through a door. She was talking, she was talking to my other sister. Okay. And then she touched a door and she fell through. I don't know where she is now. Okay. You may... I need to get my mom. Go get your mom. We'll, we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> he breaks off uh, past, and then as you see him leave the light of the Nemesir, you see him fade into the uh, opposite corridor. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Go. Yeah. Let's go find these kids. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Go into the room. Yeah. Rosie and Walnut are just charging in. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go solve these kid crimes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so as you exit uh, the Nemesir room, that that a light that loves you. Mm. Uh, as you enter the other room, you hear these doors close, and then you hear the mechanisms in them twist, Oof. and you think that you think that he may not have been able to get out without help. Mm. But as you, as you enter this room, torches along the wall and a great chandelier um, all burst with emerald fire. <laughs> uh, emerald fire! <laughs> along the sides. And then you see that it is bathing a room that is chock-a-block with wealth. Oh. Mm. Just yeah. like, like... Nice. Um... Like Carl Barks drew it. Like, <gasps> I, take, I start swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it is. Are they in bins? No, oh, it is. This is the bin. It is. In, it is so. madness. Okay. It's just wealth beyond avarice. Whatever. Does it look? You know, well, that's like don't care. Um, does it? Does it look corporeal? Does it look real? Or does it look like some kind of vision? Uh, like the with that ghost well, child. Well, here, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. And the opposite. On the opposite wall, let me give you all the information, then you can sure, make the best sure, sure. decisions. Yeah. The opposite wall, you can see two doors set in it. Okay. Um, and these doors are of a piece with the wealth. Okay. They also are. And... Yes, absolutely. Uh, almost mechanized. They look like uh, wound clocks. Okay. Mm. By the way, like. Absent-mindedly, I, 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 I just like it's incredible, and I just I, I drop the the hordes person bag, and I just start to drag it open mouthed <laughs> across as I as I investigate others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> well, no, you, yeah. you can you you take it and then you try to drag it through. It wriggles out of your clutch, Uh-oh. and just starts moving around the room Uh-oh. like a snake, the just bag. filling its gullet. Nice. The scooping. It just crawls around. Yeah, and as you can nice. see it hit something it looks like a like a junior hockey trophy or something. It's like this crazy golden cup. And so it takes it some work to get the you know the, the whole base in there. But it gets through there, feels self-satisfied, uh, pulls up 
and then uh, is eating some more gold and ends up on a pile of gold, and then it just sort of rolls over. <laughs> <laughs> Full. And you can hear like a light snoring. <laughs> oh God! From the front of the bag. I'll go, I'll go retrieve it. I imagine it's not any heavier than when I held it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you go over and retrieve it. Now you wanted to check out the gold. Yeah. Well, that pretty much convinced me that it's probably chill. Um, yeah. But something occurred to me, which is uh, to um, I go to Walnut and I say, um, "Do you want to tell the secretary that we just saw Omen?" Oh, good point. Um, Walnut pulls out her ledger and she'll say. Um, I should say, uh, entered the gate, um, went into the pit, uh, saw, uh, saw a child, saw Omen as a child, uh, trapped in a room, um, and I'll say, he mentioned his sister fell through a door. Mm -hmm. (coughs) The writing comes back on the ledger immediately, and it says, take all precautions. Um, and Walnut says that out loud, and she goes, take all precautions. And she goes, again, inside a mouth, a hungry mouth, that just really need everyone to be just, like, focusing on how dangerous this is. Yeah, 100%. Okay. All right, well, as long as they know where we are. Yeah, I go, all right, well, had your fill of this gold, let's, let's go. Yeah, so, so do you reach down? You're checking out the gold. Sure. You want to? Yeah, absolutely. Do a perception on that. Uh, uh, no, just no, a touch, no. Better. Perception. Uh, I want you to do a wisdom save with uh, uh, disadvantage. But you get a plus three because you're near Dinar. Yay! Okay, with but with disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's yeah. a sixteen. That's not Hot. bad. That's an eight, which is a thirteen. No. Did you pass the three, really? Did you add the three of me, too? Yeah, oh, my yeah. wisdom saves only two. Uh, so, so you reach down, you can see that your friend Kathris Straub and his weird gold worm yeah. um, are, have eaten their fill. I need a uh, wisdom save from you as well with disadvantage. Oui, oui. This is why. Not a great one. Avris. Uh, so the same roles. So you're going to love... The same roles. This is auspicious. Uh, which one? Wisdom? It's oh, auspicious. Yeah. So it's a flat eight. I was going to say auspicious here too. Yeah, exactly. It's a flat eight. Well, you got plus five on your save there. Yeah, oh, and then I'm plus sorry. three from Dinar. It's 13. Yeah. Yeah. It's 13. Plus three from so Dinar. You know, you know that you're not alone. Bueno. You know that you're not alone in this room. Um, in fact, over on the opposite wall, on the rightmost door, you can see the mechanisms inside the door clicking. And you can see two children seated by it. Okay. The child on the left is much smaller, but you mm. think that you've seen this hair before. You think that you've seen this sort of profile. And she says, Come on. See if you can open it. She's talking to the other child? Yes. Okay. The small one is talking yeah. to the larger one? And she says, Tanti, I think we need to wait for Omen. Okay. I think we need to wait for Omen. We. We don't know what's going to happen if we open this one. And she's like, are you scared? And she says, no, I'm not scared. I just think that we should wait for Omen. And she says, I think you're scared. And the girl looks back, her golden blonde curls falling over the shoulder. And she says, all right. And you see her reach over, and then as she touches the door, there's no door at all. Yeah. And she falls flat and is pulled through. Oof. Like pulled through the door as if it doesn't exist at all. And then you see the girl's face look back toward the other three doors and smile. Uh, what? <clears throat> now, this is what you experience um, as you have these two coins between your fingers, Rosie yeah. Bee Stinger. Right. But they're all your coins, really. Every coin in here is yours. And what you know more than anything else, what you know like your own bones, is that Kathris Draub, Walnut Dongrass, and Dinar Blitzen will kill you to have it. That is our game for this Thursday. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, it has been our great pleasure uh, to spend quality time with you yet again here on the C Team. Uh, come back next week, obviously, for the final episode of the first season. Uh, like I say, so we're going to go back, we're going to try the facilities. You come back and see us for some table talk in a moment. Don't go nowhere.